<laughs> is that is that your phone telling you that that we've gone live? No. Yes. Okay, I think we're good. All right. Okay. <laughs> another stream, another start of. Are we dropping frames? No, we're not. I am. Are okay? We're fine. Uh, so we never finished getting over it. That's nope. fine. Probably not going to finish this either, but we'll see. This is the uh, latest of those types of games, so whatever we're calling them. Th this was specifically developed because the the creator Ponty Pants. Uh, Good name. He, yeah. He uh, basically was like he really liked getting over it. He was disappointed nobody like decided to make more what he called body likes, and he's like, "Well, fuck it, I'll make my own." And this is the result. Uh, Has he not been paying attention? I guess he's he's mad that like the only ones that were made were like parodies of getting over it because there yeah. have been a lot. There there have been, and some there was Jump King. All right, so there was uh, uh, golfing over it, which yeah. was kind kind of taking the piss out of getting over it. There was yeah. A similar type of thing in what was the game that was trending? Only up. Only up. Uh, and yeah, Body's coming up with uh, coming out with one soon called uh, Baby Steps, which is kind of similar in that janky control style. Okay, so, so anyway, I assumed that I was going to be on like the face of the mountain. Am, am I on like the side of it? Yeah, you're. On, uh, no, you're on the face. So, okay, you can. Uh, no, it's you're thinking of, it's, this is not getting over it in that in that kind of climbing style. You can grab, so experiment a little bit. I have Don't been. Just, Whenever I release my more! mouse, Jack, Squirt I'm trying to talk my way through how this works. Okay, stop okay. screaming at me to do random things. Okay. So Jack has played this. I've not. I'm totally. I blind. have yes. Uh, so when I do nothing, it, it feels it's like he's drifting. His arms automatically move to the left. Oh, is that? Is, is that controller? not supposed to happen? It's not. Is your controller on its uh, on its face? No. What the fuck? Is yours? Wait, hold on. No, no, it should be. Your controller, no, my controller is connected. Is... We we have parsec going. Okay. Why is your hands going to the left? He just he wants to dab. He wants it bad. What, the f what did you do? That? What the hell? <laughs> I, we could restart it, I guess. You're gonna have to. Like, I don't know what you did. Let me, uh, let me unplug my controller just in case. Okay. Now move your mouse again. My controller is unplugged. Is yours? My controller is not unplugged. Let me give me a moment. It is unplugged now. Here, I can just, I can also just like take controller away from you. Or get it back when you deserve it. <laughs> when I, when it, or I'll. You, yeah, okay. no, it's still doing it. Restart so, the uh, fucking game. Restart the game. You're Rage you did... quit. Yeah, and remember okay. that? Uh Rage quit. Oh yeah. I wonder if he'll do if he'll ever do that again. That's nothing stopping it. It's still doing it. And what the fuck did you do to your goddamn mouse? Holy shit! I did okay, so uh, do you think this'll stop if I unplug my mouse? I plug it, plug it back in. Didn't you promise this was like getting over it, but without the fucky controls? Wasn't that the selling point? I don't. I it did this. Never did this for fucking me. I don't know what you. What the? What kind of like shit you did? Mouse is unplugged. Okay, plug it back in. Is your keyboard? Are you sure all the controllers are unplugged? Mm-hmm. And all and your keyboard is not like on on like an arrow or it's, anything. It's sitting on my lap. Oh my god. Keyboard doesn't even do anything. Oh, you, you... Oh, I can, w. I can wiggle a little with the W. Yeah, Q and... So you're just... Your guy is constantly... So you're having to... Fu oh my god. What it? You're doing something! I, I don't know what you want me to do. What, what if I increase sensitivity? Why, why? So you, uh, you say it's not supposed to do this. It's not supposed no, to. No, it's not to supposed to do that. I have no idea why it's doing that. I, I blame you. Graceful, like Lanky Kong. <laughs> you broke the game. You fuck. You fucking just. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, okay, Remove what if I it. unplug everything and turn the game off and then start the game? Try that. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> We're slowly figuring this out. Some... <laughs> Do you have an auto-clicker on? No. <laughs> you never know. The, the the window the the game window is is the game is in like uh you you tried to move it to another window and you couldn't right uh no it's in it's in full screen I can't set it to like be on a, a different monitor okay fucking fucking the main character's got crazy hands I've never I've never seen this happen this has never happened for me. Okay, everything is unplugged. Now what if I set the, uh... Mouse only. Keyboard is unplugged. Okay. I could try, like, a different USB port. Yeah, fuck Maybe. around- fuck around in the water with Bennett Foddy. The new- the new hot game sweeping YouTube. Bennett Foddy had nothing to do with this. STILL DOING IT! <laughs> Okay, uh, take your take mouse control away from yourself. Give uh, give like controller control to me. What do you mean take mouse control? Uh, okay, so like to unplug my mouse because I have to launch the game somehow. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what I'm saying is is give is just 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 uh, give me controller. Unplug your mouse and let's see what happens when we do that. Grab, grab Booba. Oh, dingy. Now I have to plug my keyboard in to exit the game. <sighs> Maybe I can launch it from keyboard only. Yeah, you probably can. There's like there's like those uh those number keys that you use to like control the Or do why the <laughs> This, you had one job to launch the game, and somehow you fucked it up. Okay, so I will give you controller con control. Okay. You now have gamepad. Okay. Uh, now unplug my mouse. Because I, I guess maybe that's a problem. I, nothing we've done has worked or shown any difference so far. Alright, I'm going to alt-tab to Steam, and I'm going to, I'm going to try to... There we go. Uh, a difficult game about climbing. Play. Uh. Play. No. <laughs> Did you try try using the tab button? I I am. Uh, so enter does not launch it. I hit tab and then enter, and that takes me to a search of some kind. Okay, I. Can you a launch it from your controller? A difficult game about launching a difficult game about climbing. You know what? I titled this a difficult stream about climbing. <laughs> you cursed it. You fuck. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, give me, give me, give, I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm, st I'm stymied because of your weird ass. Right, here, I'll, I'll I'll launch it and then I'll let you controller. I guess. What if I yeah. hit play and then I like really quickly, like unplug the mouse? Try that. Yeah. This is stupid. <laughs> I I didn't expect you, this to happen. Like this is a weird ass bug that ha is not going on on my thing. Does your controller even work? It's not working. Oh, there it goes. Uh... <laughs> it's only wanting to go either up, to there, there, or there. Any other way. Give me mouse control. I'm gonna plug my mouse back in. Do it, fine. What is going on? Is it Parsec? Somehow? I can't imagine, because you didn't have any control previously. 
Uh, Parsec. Give Jack Mouse. There you go. Maybe we gotta. Maybe we gotta reverse it. Okay. Uh. Yeah, he's still wanting to go. This is. This is. I see I made it to the technical difficulty stream. Gleam, you're gonna be have to be way more specific. Hey, is, nice acrobatics, man. Okay, so I I have no idea what's going on. Why is this why is this happening? Do you wanna, is it just, gonna do you wanna with just me? launch bet getting over it? Do you wanna like try that again instead? I don't what if that happens with that game as well? Oh god, what if it does? What Maybe you need to restart everything. I, like restart my whole computer. Okay, you know, you know what? Cancel out of that game. I'm gonna launch it on my end and see if it's if it's work if it's having that issue on my <laughs> in, end. In case mine infected yours. <laughs> I don't know what you did. Just just kill it. I'm gonna just I'm gonna do a quick test. All right. I, okay. A D I. Okay. I, I could, it's possible I could just like restart everything and that would fix it. I sure could. It wouldn't take that long, would it? Your your computer is like. It's decent, yeah. All right. Um. Let's run it. Hold on. So Jack is testing on his end to confirm that. I I, I don't know that the game itself is not cursed across all of Steam. I suppose. Like well, an update didn't break anything. Oh, yeah, I guess we could have... I should have asked Gleam if he wanted to. We could do Pal World today. I've got good news. It's working just fine on my machine. The problem is with your machine. Okay. Uh, You did something. I didn't do anything. I mean, something? Well, your game, the game is, like, acting weird for you. Are you I, sure all your controllers are, like, unplugged? Yeah. I, I will attempt to restart everything. Be, be right back. Restart everything. A difficult stream about climbing. Okay, we're back. Now, we, so we, it, it was still happening. We couldn't fix it on my end. So we're now streaming Jack's and Jack is playing the game on his computer and we're using Parsec. Yes, and you're, which means you got... Hopefully the uh, the delay shouldn't be too bad on your end. Yeah. Okay. So I am. Internet. I have the. I oh, set clicked moment. on. You can yeah, give me one mouse if you want to. Okay. Mouse is a go. You got mouse. I will not. I will try not to fuck with you. Wow. So this is what the game's supposed to feel like. Yeah, he's not supposed to be ultra dabbing. By the way, I looked it up. And they they mentioned dab glitch? Question mark. All right. So, uh, so left mouse button is the left hand, right is the yep. right hand, uh -huh. and uh, moving the mouse just kind of, I guess it moves whichever one is not currently grabbing. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, what, if neither is grabbing, does it move both of them? Yeah, it does. If, if neither of them is grabbing, it'll move both of them. I can, like, move up quickly to give myself a sudden burst. Yes. Which is, uh, which, you know, if you're playing on ultra high, uh, high, uh, like... You can go higher up than that. You just, which you mean at certain points you're going to have to like. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Woo also, this game has physics. You'll see what I mean later. Okay. So as we attempted to start saying at the start of this stream, which will be on uh, YouTube because it's funny as shit. Yeah. Uh, so this is, the, the dev made this because he was, I, I guess, frustrated that there weren't more games like getting over it. Yeah, ga like games uh, with involved platforming that uh, that also has, uh, has like, a kind of uh, unusual control setup. He keeps, it, this isn't really platforming, though. No, this is climbing. This is, this game is basically the better start climbing the game. When we joke about Unworms, where we, where there's no worms before us except they're above us, and we say, oh, better start climbing. This is that game. Uh, which, I, I, even getting over it is kind of arguably platforming. The only yeah. pure platforming one is uh, Always Up. And it's the only pure... appropriate Mario, like, spinoff. Yeah, the pure platforming one that uh, that I know of, 
Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the pure platforming one I know of is Jump King. Uh, that game is hard because because it's all about like the timing of button presses, and that just. Uh, some. I don't want to call them foddy likes because I don't I don't like calling a genre X like, but yeah. uh, some games of this ilk, some games inspired by getting over it were uh, golfing over it was a parody. Yeah, and, a uh, parody. I've, I've never played it. Is it like are they actually doing golfing or is it just like you're climbing again? It's like you you hit the ball over and over again and you can like choose the arch, uh, kind of oh. like the arc. That I, actually sounds kind of neat. It's not. It's not bad. Uh, if it weren't obvious, the slimy green parts, I, I can't grab. I slip on yeah. those. Yep. How are you? How are you? How are you uh, digging the controls so far? Uh, they feel like they should. They don't feel like I'm fighting them. Like getting over it did. Yeah. See, that's why I'm like I'm playing this game. I'm like, oh, this game feels nice. Which is a commentary that golfing over it made. Yeah. It was, it was the, the game was basically like Bennett Foddy thinks he's such hot shit. <laughs> yeah. Which uh, getting over it was itself it, it said so in the game it made based on sexy hiking so. Yeah, so, which was a flash game which used those kinds of controls and That uh, guy probably never made a dime off of any of this. Sexy, sexy hiking, hiking guy. No. I wonder what he's doing now. Do you think he's taken up IRL sexy hiking? Hiking in the nude with a stick. It's like Worms but golf. There was a Worms golf game. There were a lot of Worms spin-off games that I never Team really 17. played. Yeah. It's weird that Team 17, you think that Team 17 would be the kind of company that would make Worms as their only hit and then they would be debunked by selling their IP. But no, they actually... Uh... I mean, they did milk the hell out of Worms, but they've also yeah, made but... other games. Yeah, uh, Neon Abyss was all right. I thought it would be like like a really like. The problem is, is that the top tier uh, like rogue like shooter is Enter the Gungeon. It's hard to replicate that. It really is. Like Enter the Gungeon was top tier shit, and and nobody's really ever come close. You're figuring this out really well. I'm I'm legit impressed. It's not a terrible con. It's not a terribly difficult concept. Yeah. Yeah. How much? Right, uh, I mean, there's still Binding of Isaac. A lot of people play that over Gungeon. Oh, yeah. That, that's still good. I just like Enter the Gungeon better. If if Binding of Isaac is Doom, Enter the Gungeon is Blood. That's a, for all the first person. Can I grab... I can't grab the surface of that. Can I grab the top? You you can. Uh, remember what I said about Momentum, though? Well, this I game has physics. W was, like, at the top, and then it, he slid off of it. Yes. Uh, y you are correct, which means that you got it. There you go. So he he just didn't grab it the first time. I, I missed. Well, because because your hand was going down too fast. Okay. You I doing just, something? Yeah, I just want to do like I don't know a pose. Kind of look like Kennedy. <laughs> Kennedy? What, Mister what, Mister Kennedy? Yeah. The the uh, President John uh, F Kennedy. One yes, of the, other the one with the famous portrait. <laughs> Where he's climbing up a mountain while wearing a fucking. Yes, Japanese Jack. Do you want to teach me to teach you fucking history? <laughs> okay. Is it, some say this is the phone booth that the Baki characters fought in. <laughs> that's a yeah, that's a fucking. Uh -oh. <laughs> so you can, uh, if you swing hard enough, you can loosen your grip on one of your hands. Yes, and some uh, some ledges have uh, have a tighter grip than others. Rocks. There's a lot of them, but, uh, yeah, you, you can kind of slip easier doing that. Thankfully, there's not, like, a, uh, a limited stamina meter. No, this, that would, the only stamina you have is your own, your own two fingers, depending on how you play. Your, your physical, like, button mouse holding stamina. Yes. It's kind of a shame that My Michael and Gavin don't really do videos together anymore. This would be something mm -hmm. that they would play. Oh, yeah. But together, like, one of them would control one arm. No, you, the way the controls are, you can't really do that, though. Yeah. One would can wait. One would control the arms, the other would control the, the, uh, the grip. I, I guess. Well, as, as long as 
the way Parsec works, we both have mouse control. So as long as yeah. either button is held. Yeah. Let You're me go. Right let track. me go until I like fuck up royally. After that, that then uh, we can you... fuck around a bit with like, like maybe two players, one controller shit. Okay. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at the early parts of this. So if you if you ever get like really really just if we're getting bored at a certain part, we can move on because there's some interesting. Uh... There you go. Ooh. Whoa. Do you think this is the same guy? Do you think this is what? the dude from the cauldron? Oh, uh, Dionysus? I don't know. Was was that his name guy, in getting over his, it? Yeah, his name was like because you know he was in a pot. I don't know if this guy has a canonical name. It's his brother. Di Di Diogenes, not yeah. Dionysus. Di Diogenes is the name of the dude who lived in a pot, who was naked in a philosopher, and he's like, and he's like, if I die, just feed me to the wolves because I don't give a fuck because I'm dead. Pretty sure that's the exact quote. Something like that. Uh oh. Yeah. There's yeah, a little network it's... symbol. We're good though. Now here's the real question: How much oh, Rule Thirty Four of this game is already out there? It's probably none. I haven't even seen a TV Tropes article about it yet. I've seen two, uh, probably two of the YouTubers that I watch have played this. I think Markiplier eventually played this, so this is gonna get more of a, more of a, fucking. Okay. So there's an arrow pointing down there. I yes. can't see where I'm going, so I'm going to, just to be safe. I'm gonna give go with a little bit of momentum. Okay. Yeah. Whoop, yeah, let's whoop, see how that works whoop. for you. <laughs> <laughs> the falls of this game are kind of funny, uh, indeed. Uh, you are on the right track, uh, but your but your technique for jumping is way off. Um, I'll explain later if you if you if you care to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh. Go on, slide down. There you go. Yikes. Yeah. You, you know, just like just like place your hand gently over where you need to go, and then. All right, and thankfully, uh, chat can also see the little, like, connectivity symbol. <laughs> oh no! <is> that just... <laughs> this is the jankiest stream. A janky stream for a janky game. It hasn't been it, it it hasn't been like too bad yet. If it like disconnects even briefly, we're fucked. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Worst case scenario, I just need to watch and you can play it. Yeah. Hmm. You got it the first time. From here to here though? Yeah, you did. You just you just got to like you gotta just really just send it if you're trying to reach. You can also hit W to send it. W or or, or space. You hold one of those two to just to just reach up. Yeah. I could also so you in also theory I can right. I can climb on the green just very briefly. Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, theoretically. You're that, gonna that try tone to scramble. Says no. I'm going to get a higher grab. Not your, high I think your left hand is a bit too far to the left. You want to get the very top of the... There you go. Do you want me to, you want me to take over for a second to... Uh... All right, settle down, Luigi. <laughs> Let's it go. Hey, That's bro, like you died twice. You want me to do it? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna shimmy. Nope. Can't nope. shimmy. That Can't is not shimmy. a thing. You... I think it's easier on, with high sensitivity on the controller. Yeah. Amazingly enough. Um, it, but that's There's no me. way to, like, secure myself while I switch to controller, is there? Uh... I got it. Go for it. Go to controller. What? 
You didn't have it. I did. I, I, I was holding the button down. What the fuck? Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, well, now I'll, that we're uh, here, let, let, let's try our idea. I'm going to take oh, yeah. the right mouse button. You take the left mouse button. Let's go, gonna bro. Move? Who's going to move? Well, either of us. Okay. We're just going to, we're just going to both. Okay. We'll just take turns. Look how much better we're doing. <laughs> All right. I am the right hand. Jack is the left hand. Together. We're a mighty warrior. Uh, hold on. This is, this is gonna, there's a lot of trust that's involved with this. I, I want you to know what we're going that way. Okay. I'm sure we not. I, I would, uh, hold on. Readjust your fucking. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's working. It's working. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you got it. Wait, don't, don't. Okay, no, oh, no. Okay. I'm being careful. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> this is going to be easy right now, but it's going to be nigh impossible later later on. Go. Come on, we're gonna we gotta go down. All right. Oh god, you being the left hand is gonna have some interesting implications later on in the game. Ah, okay. You want to just clutch and I'll and I'll try to send it. There we go. All right, hold on. Ah, my mouse. Okay. Now imagine we were both in one room huddling over a single mouse together. <laughs> That's how Mario work. Party 7 wanted people to play the game. Are you fucking serious? There was a mode in, I think it was Mario Party 7, might have been 6. One of the GameCube ones right, had an 8-player mode. Hold okay, you, you do the... You know what? You just do this part. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, sure. I'm good, Can I you... tried. One of the GameCube Mario Parties had an 8-player mode that expected two people to each GameCube controller. That's lame. Ah, dang it! All right. Okay, there we go. Okay, I will be the right hand again now. Okay. You can be the right hand. Okay. Okay, let's just control arms. What's your grip? You... Okay. We're do We're actually doing this, huh? I mean, fuck it. Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, okay, go for it. We're, we're pioneers. We're the first people to do this. We won't be the last. I hope not. Okay, you got it? All right. So we're going down. No, we're going down. Okay, so you want us this, to... Because the side's going to gonna right? be... Just, just... We're not swinging now. We're, we gotta... We're gonna... Hold on. Let me... I'll show you what I'm doing. See that? That's our... That, see the rock down there? That's our... That's our goal. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do the swing. I'm ready. Go! All right. <laughs> I'll go. Okay, yeah, you, you're up. Bone. Ugh. Bone. Ugh. I don't think that's grippable. It's because it's plastic. Okay, this is the this is the first real uh, test. The thing that tur that uh, separates the mice from the men, the lion from the sheep. The losers to the laid. I would, so so statistically, one of us is laid then. <sighs> All right, so you're bed. gonna be the left hand and get as far over as possible, and then we'll swing over, right? Yeah. Uh. Go. I know. Wait. Go. Nope. We missed. <laughs> okay. Uh, what a graceful dive. It's okay. So, so how are you swinging? Are you going back to forth, and then are you going, are you going under again while you're swinging, and then Here, letting let go? Me, uh... Here, let me let me show you the difference between how how you want to do it and how we're I'm, doing it. All I'm right. going left and right, just straight left to right. Okay, go. That's not okay. That's not gonna work. Here's how. Here, I'm gonna demonstrate how I how I do it, and then I will tell you what I'm doing. Do you fling yourself diagonally upward? Is that the strategy? Yes. Yeah, I do. So, 
This is, this requires timing. This is a bit more difficult, but it'll keep you upright. Uh, <laughs> no, I want to go back, back to sea. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what this guy's nickname is. Okay, one, two. So you're still swinging, despite. Okay. Let me try what I was talking about. Let, let give yeah, me go control for, for a sec. Okay, fine by me. Whoop! That what? That wasn't it. Now you're, you have full control. I'm not controlling any of the hands. Okay, so what I was thinking... So you can't, like, fling yourself like that. No, you, you need momentum if you're doing it. You, you, flinging yourself upwards is not really a strat. Yeah, it's not. I like how he spits every time his head goes underwater. Can we go underwater? No. Not really. Kind no. of. Let me try with it. Let me try the controller. See how that plays. Yeah, uh I find I find it to be a bit um what the fuck? So, how your controller is listing to the right. I see. That might be a problem. Your, your bullshit has infected my game. Wait. Oh, no, now it's... What? <laughs> What's it doing? Is it normal again? Hold on. No, it's... I think it's your mouse. Your mouse is still kind of... Is, is still a factor. Or is it my mouse? No, it's your mouse. Is it a dead zone issue? I don't know. I just turned my aye mouse upside aye. down. Aye, 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 oh, aye, aye, is, it, is it still happening? Uh, no, it stops. All right, go for it. I'm gonna set my mouse perfectly still. It's not doing anything. Yeah, I guess something with my controller was an issue. It was unplugged during all of the technical difficulty stuff earlier. Yeah. All right. So, uh, how do you, how does it feel playing uh, on a controller versus on a on a mouse? Well, I'm not using a controller because you had to oh, plug you... it. Oh. I thought you were playing on a controller now. No, I I had to unplug it because it started listing to the right. Oh, okay. Well, well, when we were doing it, you were listing in the fucking uh, like uh, eleven o'clock position. I was listing to the left. Yeah. Well, upper left. I've seen like uh, bumper stickers around here that say like upper left. No, it was it was a business. There's a name. There's a business called like Upper Left Contracting or something. Upper left. Instead of Northwest. Momentum. It's grace. Such majesty. All right. All right, you want me to take control of uh, one I, of the arms again? For sure, we can do that. I'll, I'll be left this time. Okay, I'll be right. And Bennett Foddy wasn't the first game. Well, it was the first game to do like the, the the climbing as an objective and to do the thing where like you're always at risk of going back to the beginning. He but did the a climbing game, but but it was it like a sequel to Quop. Quop that was like a climbing game, except it wasn't. Uh, like as uh as good it wasn't like as well remembered as quap oh did he make quap he made quap okay because that's what i was gonna say is there were other games before getting over it that were like uh their gimmick was intentionally awkward controls yeah which is a challenge in its own right i suppose uh what, what was it uh surgeon simulator uh, i don't think benefati made that but yeah that was no a, but it's a similar type too. of game and uh, i am bred yeah same guy as Surgeon Simulator. I actually, I actually replayed I Am Bread uh, while I was at my parents' place yesterday, and and I, I, I think it kind of holds up. Shame they got rid Apparently of the flying, still... the flying saucer glitch. Yeah. Still in early access, apparently, according to. Wait, hey, hey! Sorry. I'm right. I'm right arm. I think... Okay, you got it. All right. Ah. 
Man, I wonder which VTuber is going to be the first to play this. <laughs> some, some, someone, some, some uh, talent, some talent agency is going to be like, "Hey, I got a game for you." And then we're going to get like an image of a cute anime girl, topless in a loincloth, uh, screaming, "No!" All right. Uh, um, Tell me when to let go. Let go. <laughs> That's not going to work. I think. I think if I'm gonna do the jump, I need to do, one of us needs to be in control of like. All right, whoever is in the arm that is not gripping. Well, no, I guess there... it has to be the gripping one. Otherwise, yeah, we we one of us needs to assume direct control. So I'm still the left hand. Yep. Do it. Speed strat. This is actually a lot easier on the hand when I only have to worry about one mouse button. Yeah. I, I, I play this on my Steam Deck! I That was miscommunication, I'm sorry. So, I, I play this on my Steam Deck, and it's actually murder on my hands. I So, so what, what, can you describe the controller controls? Because I didn't get them. So, uh, stick, uh, either stick controls arms, uh, bumper or trigger, uh, grips hands. Okay. Which, uh, for some reason, uh, like, climb, like, uh, extension climbing, like, sending it, is easier on a controller. Like, I, I saw you struggling to do it on a mouse, so. Like, I, I can't imagine it's, like, easy. Okay, cool. Can you climb, uh, get your left hand up a little bit? Uh, can you get your left hand up a little bit? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, go for it. I don't know how that worked out. We're cross-armed, and somehow we're climbing better than, like, most, like, fucking free climbers. Can you beat a difficult game about climbing without uncrossing your arms? That's a good question. I'm not gonna be able to reach up from there. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do it. Alright, there we go. Okay. Alright, go for it. Slide, 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 slide. Alright. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, did you let go? Did you no. lose your grip? Okay. I don't think so. I think, yeah, I think we just, one of us just lost our grip. I like that grip, that grip strength is like a mechanic in this game. But grip not man. where, like, you run out and then you have to drop all the way to the bottom. No, it's just, it's just straight up friction. Like, all right, I'm gonna move my hand. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So okay. I want to go. Wanna... We want to go down a little bit, so we so we can reduce our momentum when trying to go like uh, grab onto that rock. All right. I have. I have. I'll, taken I'll do control... it. Okay. Because I'm I'm the one currently gripping, so it kind of right, has to be then. me. All right. All right. So I'm left hand again. You're right. Yep. We're gonna be stuck on this jump. Unless one of us takes just direct control, I think. Yeah. Well, I, oh, yeah! <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought it was my turn. I, I thought... I don't know. I don't know what happened. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, go for it. <laughs> Why'd you send it? I Did didn't he... send anything. I hadn't grab. I grabbed the green stuff. Yeah, the the green rock, the the wet rock. All right. So this game, unlike uh, unlike getting over it, does not have any music, nor does it have a uh, nor does it have a gentleman telling you like how much you just fucked up. Yeah. It's just it's just the wind and the rocks and the rain and the ambient noise. It's it's, it's very peaceful rage. It's a kind of yeah. It's a kind of like relaxing experience. Good. I'm good. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Oh, that was that was scary. Uh, that that you slipped really hard. All right. Okay. I'm going then. Up. Oh, dang it. 
Like, we have to pause for just a second to make sure that we're, like, in a good spot. Yeah. But that's still... Honestly, that's still less of a pause than having to, like, switch mouse buttons somehow. Yeah. Uh, try grabbing where my hand is. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Okay. Dang it. There we go. I think there's a lot of... Uh, I think fine, uh, fine control with the, uh... With, like, the hands is better on stick. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because of sensitivity on... Uh, maybe it's because of sensitivity or something. This is surprisingly doable. Well, so far. <laughs> We're the easy part of the game. Oh, yeah. Uh... This is not gonna be doable, like, later on. I don't think. Well, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> Alright. Lower. Oh, yeah. All right. Do you want to take the left hand now? Do you want to make this? I thing? will. I will. I will try making the jump. Just do it. All right. Uh, I'm giving you control of left hand again. I'm gripping. Yeah. All right. Let. Hmm. All I'm right. trying to. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out where exactly would be a good. I'm trying to remember where the good, the sweet spot for the jump is, and I think it's like higher up, like right here, where my hand is. Keep holding your right hand. I'm gonna yep, let I go am. and give you control. Okay. Yeah. Please, 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 please. Yeah, we got it. All right. I'm giving you control of left hand again. I'm holding left. All right. Uh. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Uh. This is like surgery. You gotta. Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh oh. Careful. Yeah. Uh, let me readjust my grip. Ah! No, that's not gonna work. Okay. Cross arm strat. Whoa. Too no. low, right? Yeah, that's way too low. We're gonna you're gonna slip. There we go. That might be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is thrilling as fuck! <laughs> Oh, look, we're close. We've almost beaten it. Yeah, we've almost beaten it. This is... This game has a total of two achievements. Yeah, probably getting up to the fucking cliff. Careful! That is one of them. Is it really called the fucking cliff? Okay. I... Can you trust that you can send it? Okay. No, 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 no! Okay. Uh, you, you grab, you grab where I, where my hand is. I'm going to try, I'll send it, because my mount controller, I think I'm, it's easier for I. What, hold on, this means. I got okay. it! Oh, I'm, okay. This is generally more consistent in the theming. There's, there's a bunch of less, like, just random shit as objects so far. Yeah, this is level one. Oh, there's multiple levels in this. Yeah, we're at we're, we're near the checkpoint. <laughs> there's checkpoints in this. Yeah, this is a difficult game about climbing, not an impossible game about climbing. There's probably <laughs> another game. That would be a sequel. All right. What a nice looking area. Yeah. All right, drop. All right, generally we'll be fine if we fall in this area now. So this is section two. This one is a bit more, is slightly more difficult. This in, this introduces water. Wasn't section two the one that had like battle little girls or something? I oh gunslinger girl. Was that yeah, section I, two? I don't know that. The, the why my my question for for that section would be why are you uh, why are you like uh, cyberizing like like uh, or, war orphans? Don't you think we've exhausted every alternative? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to do the ascending. Uh should I aim for that bush or that tree? I'm aiming for the bush. Okay. Ah 
It's all right. Yeah, if you if you grab the water, it it, uh, it, it has momentum. Okay, I'm grabbing. There we go. I can't believe this is we're somehow making this work. Uh oh. Yeah, the water. Okay, I think I got I got a good hold. Uh Alright, I'm gonna aim for the tree. Nope. Okay. Give me a second. Uh readjust your your grip to mine. Or my my hand is. That's good enough. That is not gonna work. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna have make to go, jump. For it. go for the bush. Alright. Okay. Alright, time to climb the waterfall. Oh. Don't fall to the to the right. If we fall to the right, we're probably gonna go back to level one. Wait, who, who who's whose turn is it to grab? Okay. No, we gotta we gotta we're gonna have to go for those rocks. All right. Yeah. Good call. Good call. A difficult game about teamwork. Shit. Ah. Uh... I was I, I I didn't want you to do that because uh, yeah cause no my I was trying was to aim for where you were at but I conveniently got up to the next thing anyway. All right. Uh. I think we should go to the right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh. All right. I'll try. We can just see in a situation like this we can just alternate attempts. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> not. Maybe not. We're good. We're fine. <laughs> Who's going to go first? <laughs> you go first. All right. <laughs> I love this game. You know what? There's probably going to be... The Elden Ring DLC is going to come out this year. This might be my game of the year. <laughs> Someone else is going to do this. They're going to do two players to this game. And we're gonna point to our video with two views, and yeah, yeah, we did it first, motherfuckers. And, I, and we're just gonna be like posers. Can we turn down the volume a little bit? Uh, if you want. I don't know. Do, do you think it's like uh, drowning us out? I don't think so. Chat. Okay. Chat. What do you think? Do you think the game is too loud? Did. Again, if not, if. Worst case, if it is, that's something that I can now, like, change and post with our different yeah. uh, audio channels. Fair enough. So I think when we climb, we should climb, uh, We should, if we go up the waterfall again, we should stick to the left side. Yeah. So we don't get scared like that again. I don't think you're grabbing onto anything. There you go. Something I like about this game is that there's, uh, there's sound feedback as to, uh... Whether or not you're grabbing, like, like what, what you're grabbing onto. Yeah. Which I, which I appreciate. Shit. Okay, we're over water. <sighs> How much effort would it take to make a, uh... A, what do they call A machinimation of this game. Machinimation? Yeah, oh, like like, uh, like red much. versus blue. Allow me to climb the mountain with interpretive dance. It's it's great. A, a, a man tragically has alien hand syndrome and he's still climbing a mountain. Can you beat a difficult game about climbing with someone else trying to mess with your controls? No, you can't. No, you, you no, because not a chance. It, it's not happening. John Freak's just looking at, at the... We made it up. It's all fabricated. It's, it's not possible. Like, it's, it's... I don't know why I find, like, like uh, these kinds of, like, chill platforming games are relaxing. People talk about, uh... What is it? Comfy games? Yeah. And and for the most part, like, like they're just talking about, like, oh, crafting and, like, farming and stuff. No, my comfy game, when I, when I don't want to deal with anything stressful... It's just it's just climbing. I can't fucking do that in real life. Wait, hold on. I need to be very careful about this. There we go. Okay. Oh. 
Why did you? Why did you send it? We need to readjust the grip just in case. <laughs> okay, so you. We'll get back up there, and then you tell me which rock you think that we should go left from. We were you were going to the right rock. I just I just wanted to make sure that we had we had like a good grip, so that if we slipped, it wouldn't be like the worst case scenario. Uh, you're gripping left. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I guess our volume's good then. Yeah. Okay, because I, I feel like I'm shouting. It's shouting over the waterfall. It's probably just loud on your end, but it's no, it's yeah. well balanced for well, on mine. Ah. Uh, okay, I think I got it. Imagine a character, not not this character, but a character from a game like this in Smash. That would be one of those like weird control scheme tropes. Oh yeah, kind of like Min Min, where like her spe her special button is like her other arm. Yeah, it'd be it'd be kind of like it'd be weird. It'd be like uh, like a joke character, or like uh, you, you, like sign the Belmonts have the thing. You'd you go for it. Okay. The Belmonts have the thing where if you hold the attack button down, you get their their whip, their their dangle whip. It'd be that, but every character every character's attack. Probably you should readjust your grip so that uh, higher so that I can actually. Okay. So you are you are right. Uh, well, actually, hmm. Damn it. Okay, readjusting. Okay. Why did you let go? I did think I was in quite a good spot. <laughs> let me, let me jazz fine. hands over. Does this work? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I, I got it. I got it. Exactly. No, it does not. That does not propel us. <laughs> okay. Shout out to the Venga boys. Yeah. I think Crazy Frog ruined the song. You know, that's the... I first heard the... Cra the I knew the Six Flags ads, and then I saw the Crazy Frog one. I only, like, as an adult, found out about the Venga boys. Yeah, well, I forgive you. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, fuck. Then I watched that Eddie Murphy movie, and I was like, Hey, what the fuck? They ripped off Crazy Frog. <laughs> and, 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 and then people are like... Yeah. I'm having a brain fart. What was the name of that movie? Miami Vice? Miami Vice was the... Is that was that part of the trend of like of like people taking serious police dramas from the '80s and like making them comedies? Hey, maybe I was. Yeah, like, they, uh, they did that with Dragnet. They did that with Miami Vice. Was Magnum PI? Was that like a serious show? Was that was that? Did they fucking make that into a comedy movie? Magnum PI was the one that was like in Hawaii with the I don't know if it was in Hawaii. The yeah. dude had a Hawaiian Tom, shirt. It was Tom Selleck, Tom Selleck. with a sweet mustache. Yeah. yeah that was I watched that when I was a kid because it was on like old. Uh, there was also uh, like oh, Hawaii going, I Five O was the show. Yeah, Hawaii Five O was uh, was another one. And the most Man, the serious 80s... cop show of all, Reno Nine One One. The eighties were just filled with like with like pro cop shows. Being nice, I'm not calling them propaganda. A uh, copaganda. Oh, okay, we almost we almost fucked up there. Uh, I, I I it was all, almost my fault. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... Why don't you grab the log and let me go up? Because I'm t having trouble... Okay. Uh, should yeah. I readjust? Uh, yeah, I do so. I'm having trouble safely adjusting. Yeah, because of, of the water, I get it. All right, am I okay. good? Don't let go until I tell you to let go. Because I, I want to be sure. Okay. Now, how do you think we're getting to the left, is my question. Uh, well, if we go up there, it's going to be slightly, like, uh, longer. I think we can, I think one of us can send it to the, to the right. But we're going to need to readjust our grip so that we're further, we're just a little bit further to the left. Because if we try to go to the right, we're going to risk, uh, starting, oh, hey, hey, hey. All right, okay. I'm good. So are we going like higher right, first, yeah. or I think that's good. Just go go to the 
Don't go to the one to the top, go to the one to the far left. You think we can reach that? I, I've reached it before. Hmm. It's quite a reach. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I think, I think I can reach it with my controller, if you want to temporarily give me control, like, uh, control to the left one. Okay. Well, do you want to just take it from here? You, you getting, uh, yeah. Not for the rest of the stream, I mean just to, to get up that part of the waterfall. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can do it. Are you using a controller now? I am, yeah. I've been for the, for a while. Hope you're able to get it fixed so you can, so you have, I don't know. You're probably not going to play this on your own, are you? I can't, maybe, it depends on what the second achievement is. <laughs> probably like speedrunning or some shit. God, I hope not. We'll speedrun this game. I think, I think the current world record is like five minutes. The speedrun of, like, getting over it is fascinating to watch, though. Yeah, because it's just people just, like, just fucking, like, bouncing and shit. By the way, I am I am doing both right now. Yeah. All right. I, I'm just letting the audience know. Okay. There we go. Does Goat Simulator count as a game with intentionally awkward controls? Goat Simulator isn't really a challenging game, but... Oh, shit. Sorry, give me a moment. Uh, It's not a challenging game, but... It's not... I don't think it's, it's a game with awkward controls. I think it's just an awkward game. It's a game that's a joke. And it, it, and it's fine. Sorry, I'm just... I'm just trying to, uh to make sure I got this right. Because I think I've only got, like, one chance at this up here. Okay. See, that's what I was worried about. Okay. I'm gonna try to be left. Damn it! So how far have you gotten in just by yourself? Have you reached a second Oh, checkpoint? farther than this! I, have, I think I've gotten to, like, towards the very end. Alright, I'm gonna take the left hand again. Okay, you got left hand. Good. Yeah, I'm good. You got it? Okay, I'm... Do not let go. That's not going to break, just just go. Alright. I would hope nothing is going to break. I don't think this game... This game is, is difficult, but not, like, impossible. That would be... Kaizo level traps I would consider to be in the realm of impossibility. You got it? Yeah. Alright. Oh, shit. Uh. Wait. No, 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 no. Uh. Okay. Good? I'm good. Careful where you. Try not to grab the water. If you grab the water, we are in for a rough time. Yo, you want to readjust grip? I think I think we should readjust grip really quick. I'm trying. Okay. Okay. Uh, where are we? Where are we aiming? Uh, either the rock or the bush below would be acceptable, but that'll be. I hard think to... the bush below would be more doable. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I think I think that would have less torque on our uh, on our on the right hand grip. You know, you want to go for it? Yeah, go for sure. the lower one. Uh, All right, I'm you're ready. You're readjusting, aren't you? Oh, okay. I think that's good. This is this has to be a jump. Oh fuck! You uh, want to do it? I don't know. I I don't. I, I, I have relinquished a... control. Okay, it's gonna be a my it's gonna be a minor jump. Not like we could also be... drop down to the bush below his feet. We probably should have done that. Honestly, damn it! All right, you want, you want me to go back to the waterfall? Uh, yeah, sure. So, all right. Still all jack. Damn. Is this a new area? Have we been here? No, we've been here. We just haven't been here in a while. We've been on the waterfall for like for like five minutes. I, I didn't remember the black like uh, the foreground object. Yeah. The plane. The plane. The plane. 
Hey, boss. You know they made Fantasy Island into a horror movie? I was not aware of that. How's that yeah. go? Uh, like, not not that not that good. Uh, then they then they did a remake of it. I don't know how that went, but I don't I know it wasn't like horror themed. How do you have a show called Fantasy Island with no fucking in it? Because it was a, a show made in the '60s or or like something where television censors and shit. All right, uh, you got control again. All right, I'm gonna readjust. Uh, uh, you want me to readjust? It. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like he's grabbing his dick. <laughs> uh, so you still think we should go down and then to the to the bush on the left? I think so. Yeah. Wait. Or you said that? Oh yeah. You grab it. Yeah, I'm grabbing it. You got it. I think. You okay. Uh, Do you want to take control again? I don't. I I might not. I I'm trying to remember how I did this jump, or if I, it was a jump. I'm gonna let go. Okay. No. What? So, did... No. The other thing uh, I wasn't. Oh, oh, we got it. Okay. It's a very, it's a difficult long grab, but it is doable. Now, that rock is next. Not that rock. The other rock. Yeah, I know. To the. Well, we have to get a little adjust our grip higher on the bush yeah. first, right? All right, I'll I'll get on the bush. All right, bush get. Oh, I think you got okay. We made it. We made it. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Can we just like uh, climb on the log? We gotta we gotta we gotta send it upwards. This guy, he's not in a, he's not in a, in a kettle, but he is still paraplegic. His legs don't work. He cannot yeah. just, he can't just climb up to this, th on this. Who's Troy? Okay, readjust your grip. That's not going to work. It's, okay, wait, I'll, you know what? I'll re, okay, grab where I'm grabbing. Okay, you know what? Ah! Why did you let go? Because I hadn't grabbed where you were grabbing. I hadn't assuming... completed my mission yet. I'm assuming direct control. Okay. Grab your right. I'll let go now. <laughs> that was that was heartbreaking. We almost made it. All right. So Jack uh, is Jack is catch up mode. If we need to get back to a place that we've been before, it's all Jack. It's weird being being like, it's weird being good at a game. Well, semi good at a game. I'm not an expert. I'm decent enough at it, I guess. Decent enough for a guy playing with a controller. Damn it! All right, readjust. Where do you think? What do you think is next on? Uh, what do you think are some other levels in this game? Uh, we had, we had we've... ocean. We had uh, we have waterfall. Well, it's been mostly we... like rocks and woods so far. I guess the is there like an industrial? Act? Are we gonna go up like Creme Croc Isle? Ooh, this is this is just this game is just basically Donkey Kong. I played a uh, I played Donkey Kong Land on the Game Boy because it had like easy achievements recently. Oh yeah, it's, it's not a good game, but like it's not uh, a good port. Well, it's it's not even a port. It's it's a uh, it's an original game, but you know, oh, yeah? on the power of the Game Boy, it has to update the VRAM on every single frame. <laughs> That's that sounds that sounds fucking intolerable. But uh, it does have like original levels and enemies and bosses and such. The plot of the game is that after Donkey Kong Country. Cranky is like, hey, you little shits, you only did this because it's 16-bit. I bet you couldn't, like, beat an 8-bit adventure. 
Oh, that that does sound that does sound like Cranky Kong. And so he calls up K. Rule to be the bad guy of an eight bit adventure. That's the plot of Donkey Kong Land. Hey, K. Rule, I want you to. Can you steal my nephew's villain. bananas, my grandson? Okay. Okay. Uh, you wanna you wanna res you wanna resume control of the left arm so that we All can right. do this properly. Get your grip. Okay, I got it. Okay. Do not let go. I'm gonna send it. Cut. It! So, uh, architecture. Wait, oh shit. Uh, don't let go. Okay. Millstone Mayhem! Okay. Alright, welcome, welcome to the Greek, uh, factory. Alright. Hey, you know what? This uh, this water is warm. It's a, it's a hot tub. That's not water. <laughs> I don't think that works as well as that's not mud, honestly. Like now, you hear that's grab, not. We can't grab the pillar. We can only grab the ruined part. Yeah, it's too smooth. Um, but uh, we're gonna have to make a jump. Jumps have to be like one person. I don't yeah, think there's any I'm, way we can coordinate. I'm assuming this. control. Uh, give me control of the left arm, please. You want me to let go? Yeah, let go. All right. I, I can't believe I got that first try. All right, you e, you got access again? Uh, sure. Okay. Well, yeah, it's going to be multiple jumps, isn't it? Yes, but not right now. Oh, okay. I thought we still had to go to the left. I know, right? That that that, that fucked with me before. <laughs> this is gonna be. We're gonna let's try this a couple of times uh, by ourselves, and then like not grab... coordinating. Yeah, well, let's try this a couple of times coordinating, and then I, I, okay. No, no, let go, let go, fuck, fuck it. Sorry. What are you doing? Let go. Okay, don't let go. Actually, fuck it, don't let go. Uh, what is going on? Ah! Let go. Let go. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> that was scary as fuck. Alright. Uh, uh, you know what? We, we know a jump is at the top of this pillar, so I'll just... I won't take control even... until we are af past the jump at least. Alright. Dang it. I got to the Greek factory, I'm like, oh fuck no. So I'll, I'll left again now. Alright. Yeah, so I didn't, I, I now understand the gears. I didn't realize that if we, uh, if we missed our chance, we would be... Ah! No, okay, fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Are we good? How the fuck did that work out? Okay. No, no! Okay. Go left! I... <laughs> I think, I think one of, I think one of us is gonna need to just take control. Yeah? Alright. Well, let me do it then, cause I haven't... Yeah. You, you've played this before. Yes, I have. I, I will it. go, I will go full Zellrog for a little while. Alright. Difficult, isn't it? This game's kind of difficult. It is, it is in the title. This is actually a good place to practice jumping because it's like right in front of a of the of, of a water pool. I don't think I understood your technique. Yeah, you gain momentum. And then uh, when you're on the thing you know you're going to jump, you don't aim to the right. You aim, like, kind of right up.
Why is he spitting? Is just his legs getting wet? Unless he's talking out his ass. Give me a moment. I gotta use the restroom. I'll be right back. I, I'll, I'll know oh, what I'm your sure progress I'll is. I'm sure I'll still be here. I'm sure you will. Okay, momentum. Swing, you swing, and then up. Oh. Nope, didn't work. Maybe if I get as high as possible, I could get a little higher than that, but... I don't think I'm getting it. I blame Jack and his inability to explain things. Am I doing it too late? Is that what's happening? We had a discussion before the stream of, like, uh... I, I don't like when a genre is called X-like, like roguelike, which we're kind of stuck with as a term now. Even Metroidvanias. A little history lesson. When, when first-person shooters were becoming popular, they were called Doom clones. Before the term, like, first-person shooter came about, came about... Which is much more descriptive of the genre as a genre, instead of just calling them doom likes. But like what are the what are the unifying concepts of foddy likes? That the controls are intentionally why is it even that the controls are intentionally awkward? Is is only up. Is that a foddy like? Because the central function, the central like gameplay mechanic is that there's always the chance that you'll fuck up badly enough to be sent all the way back to the beginning again. I would call them like, uh, like. But they're not like platformers. platformers. No, you can't call Marathon. them platformers because they're not plat. This is not platforming. We're not platforming it's right now. Yeah. And it's also, again, they're not necessarily marathons because there are checkpoints, but yeah, there's, there's still the risk of like going back to the beginning at any time. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't understand your technique that you described at all, Jack. I have not gotten I, it I once. don't blame you. Uh, yeah, let me... Can I take over really quick? All right. All right, I got it. So, and this is, is this how I'm doing it on controller? I don't know if it's the same. I think it's the same with mouse. Because you're doing it like this, right? You're just kind of going back and forth, and then you're just letting go. I'm letting go at, like, the top of the swing, yeah. Yeah, so it's how the momentum is. So if you're letting go at the top swing... You're doing it, so... If you're like going to the top swing, that's that what's happens. going on. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't you don't want to just go back and forth and then let go on the top swing, on your final swing. So, so watch how I'm doing it. Uh, back, forth, back, forth. I'm hitting, I'm, I'm not going, on my final swing, I'm not, like, going down. You're to going to overhead. Do my momentum. I'm doing over. I'm not even going overhead. I'm just going from from the. I'm tilting my stick from the back to from the straight right to left the to left. Straight right. And I'm going straight. Well, not straight. I'm doing. I'm doing under curves to gain momentum. And when my under curve is to the left, I rather than do an under curve back to the right, I'm just tilting it straight to uh, to the top to the top right. That's how I'm doing it. You want to try it? Uh, I, I can. Yeah, yeah. With that, with that, with uh, how I said it, uh, do it like, do it. Uh, try doing it how I'm doing it. Oh, 
the bed. All right. Underswing, uh, underswing, 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 underswing. Top right. You didn't gain Too enough slow. momentum. Yeah. That's better, but you're releasing a bit too late, uh, at the beginning, at, like, yeah. yeah. You're releasing a bit too late. Yes, Sensei! Jack Sensei! Jack Sensei! Lee! Zell! Naruto Philip pisses me off because so much of it is Naruto and one or two other characters go on an adventure to some, like, foreign place with some stupid plot and characters you don't care about. Uh... Like, just use the other characters. That's the one opera. That's the best part about fillers that it has a chance to use stuff that doesn't get used in canon, and they fucking don't. Yeah. There was Bleach. one 1010 10 episode that was great. I was so happy to have a 1010 10 episode. Bleach understood filler. Filler was the opportunity to be like, hey, let's see all these other characters do wacky shit. I, yeah, I like no, I, I disagree. Fill no. Bleach had good filler arcs compared to, like, other series, but the individual episodes were... Yeah. Remember when, uh, when Omaida was, like, pretending to be, like, the the hero of, uh, like, the actual captain, and then fucking Zoifone was like, fine, I'll fucking play along. He was just gradually trying to get everybody in the Soul Society to do it. That was one of the better filler episodes. It was cute. Yeah, not a high bar, because, like, fuck Omida, but... Yeah. Well, you also, you also kind of just, you just also don't care for Soyphone at all. Yeah. When you first, when you first introduced Soyphone to me, you're just like, she's a bitch. I'm like, oh, wow, I wonder what she does. But... <laughs> she's, she is just mean, though. She's mean to everybody except Yoruichi. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do this. Alright, okay. Well... Are you taking control of the left, or you want me to just... Uh, no, I'll, I'll do it after the jump. Okay. And also, uh, Omida is really a character who's just, like, designed to be hated by the viewer. He's not, not someone yeah. you're supposed to like. So it's kind of weird that they do, like, episodes based around him. Alright, go for it. I think, I think we're gonna have to... We might just need to skip past the gears. What do you mean, skip? Well, I mean, you just, I mean, not skip, but like. Nope, left. Oh, we have to re re retry. Yeah. Back to Jack. Yeah. Can't, you can't, you can't, just cannot, like. It's fine, because cause some of the time I miss jumps too, it's just. I didn't catch the full message, but uh, Darian is complaining about the overuse of the term Metroidvania for games that, like, don't really do the same thing as Metroid or Castlevania. Yeah, I get you. Uh, Civi uh, 11 actually had a really good uh, replacement term for, uh, that's grabbable, by the way, I'm just gonna... Well, I know it's grabbable. Are we... Can we go yeah. anywhere from here? Uh, no, we're just... Go for it. Okay. Go oh, up. we're going up there. Yeah. Uh, his term, his term, he wanted to replace Metroidvania with was a uh, obsessive compulsive simulator. He well, it's to go it's... everywhere and grab everything. <laughs> yeah, it was a joke, but. So we have to. Is this shimmying? Do we have to move like right quickly? Y yes. Uh, do do I do I dare to... try this myself? <laughs> You've you done this, to. I haven't. I, if you want to, I can get back up here pretty easily, I okay. think. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to readjust my left to be a little closer. Okay. Get up there, you motherfucker. If only your controller worked properly. Yeah. You want to turn down the sensitivity? Maybe that would help. You think it's like too high sensitivity? I think. So. Oh. 
He's starting to believe. Okay, so I need to grab this with my right in order to grab the thing above with my left. I, I didn't let go of the mice. He just, he couldn't grip hard enough. Yeah. It's, uh... That one took me a while to, like, master, but then I realized I, I, I need to do it a different way. Wanna give it one more shot? I think I had it, I just, I lost my grip. Alright, I'll get you back up there and then... Ah, shit. Speaking of Symphony of the Night... Speaking of what? Speaking of Symphony of the Night. Oh, yeah. Just the gears area. Alright, uh, you can take control whenever you want to again. Alright, I'm holding right. Alright. There's an, I'm gonna tell you this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Still here. Still got oh, it. Yeah. Okay. This is kind of tricky on a mouse because I have to constantly like slide back up and down to reset yeah. on my mouse pad. I think I think it's easier on a controller. I wonder how this would Did play we... with a uh, with a trackpad. Uh, I wouldn't know the trackpad, uh, the uh -oh. game is actually not really... Aw. Damn. Alright, you just, you do it. <laughs> Alright. It might it take me a couple of attempts, because this one was difficult even when I first started, but I think I can do it. Imagine, like, imagine I started playing this, and I just, I, I shimmied all the way up to, like, as far as you'd gotten in one try. That would have been that would have been amazing. I would have respect. I I would have really respected the hustle. You would have been pissed though. Eh. I've been pissed about pettier shit. All right. Let me see. I think and I think the thing is you're hobbled by the mouse. If you were playing on on controller, I think you'd have a much easier time. Maybe. That yeah. is very fast. Yeah, it, it, I I don't know even if I'm doing this correctly. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you get a second chance and sometimes you don't. It depends on the momentum. Like, like I like I like the the way momentum and friction work in this game. I kind of I, once I complete this game, I kinda, I want to see the uh, I don't know the dev put out a video about the making of this game. Shit. Yeah. See. <clears throat> you want to? You want to? You want to get my immortal up ready? <laughs> the the my immortal fan fiction of we're not making progress. Doom. I mean, I could just like pull up my notes and start talking about random shit. I mean, if if you want to. <laughs> uh, this is. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this this uh, this part, it's not. It doesn't get any easier, I, I in my opinion. There was one uh, part that took me like, like multiple hours to get to get past, and it was it was a series of really hard jumps. All right, I got jokes. I got a joke for you. You ready? Okay. I'm gonna make a game. I'm gonna make a game with a totally new original uh, genre, a yeah. new aesthetic. I'm going to okay. set it in the Vietnam protest era, you know, like Ooh. 1950s, and I'm going to call it Simon and Garpunk. Simon and Garpunk. <laughs> oh, man, it's just it's just a, a series of endless protests. It's nothing but protests. No one's going to fucking get that joke, but I don't care. I miss, I miss, uh, there are certain genres that I miss that I know will never come back in a big way. Like? Like, uh, 
Folk rock is kind of just like gone the way of the dinosaurs. And now you're talking you... about like the original folk rock, like Bob Dylan, Simon and Garfunkel. Mamas and the Papas. Love and Spoonful. Actually, Love and Spoonful will work like folk rock. I don't know really. why. All this time, I had kind of figured Grateful Dead would be like a, a kind of a heavy for their era sound. But no, they're not. No. They're, uh, they're, they're just kind of the pop rock of the era. Like a non-British Beatles. I think I think people talk talked about uh, Grateful Dead as they were like a touring band. Like their best stuff was like on tour. Yeah. Dang it. I'm wondering how I did this. Shit. I missed that jump. Yes! Got it. Got it! Uh-oh. But it's not... Uh, it's, it's okay, you can rest yet. in the center of the gear if needed. Yeah, yeah, the center of the gear is, uh, is a good soft spot. Alright. Mm. Dude, okay. You ever heard of the movie Dark City? Ah, shit! Because <laughs> the city is dark and my heart is cold. Okay, never mind. You ever heard of the movie Dark City? <laughs> I've not heard of Dark City. Oh, we should, we should watch that. That, that. That's a pretty trippy uh, neo-noir uh, movie. Watched uh, Time Crimes with Darian yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Which was prompted by... Uh, Time Crimes is a, is, a, uh, is a Spanish movie that you showed me. About, yes. About uh, a causal loop in time travel. It's one of the very yeah. few movies that like makes logical sense in terms of time travel. Yes. Which but, is why uh, I figured you'd like it. The pro what prompted me to like show the guys that was that we watched a Rumiko Takahashi short story animated. Yes. That drew comparisons to time crimes. And Inuyasha. Yeah, again, it was. But... So it was called Fire Tripper, and it was basically the prototype for Inuyasha. It's from 1983, animated in 1985. And it, it had the it had the causal loop time tra time travel stuff. Yes. It was it's activated favorite, like, time travel by, by the main character fucking dying. Yeah, well, dying in, in uh, specifically in fire. It was a very. It was so specific. It could have been a JoJo Part Six stand ability. Yes, and it had some of the best like plot twists and shit. I love that. I love that movie. I forgot this. Oh, this is just gonna be a lot more jumps and shit. This movie. Okay. Is this is this the part where I have to drop out? I don't know. You want to try it? I don't think I want to try jumps. I'm I'm okay. not confident in jumping. All right, I'll do the jump then. Thankfully, Fortunately, there's a little ledge over there. Yeah, there's a there's a wall to slow your descent and an actual like ledge to. Uh... Fuck them if they made us do the gears again. Oh, depending on how hard you fuck up, you might actually get sent back down to the gears. I. <laughs> this game gets this game gets it starts off like pretty simple, but it gets mean. There we go. So do you think that awkward controls is like a staple of whatever this genre is, or are is that just a common part? I think I think it's common part because it's like it's forcing you to look at a game from a new angle. But it's not I mandatory think, to call it of this genre. Well, I don't think it's mandatory. I I also but I also think that like if you talk about like like awkward uh, stuff uh, adding to the difficulty, you, you think about like classic NES games. Let's say this is a combination of genre because there is there are also games with awkward controls that aren't about this kind of punishing gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do we yeah. call those besides quap likes? Uh. Athlet athletic. Uh, I would call them triathlon games. Yeah. Because it's all about like. Well, I'm uh, talking about just. Like the broad idea of games with intentionally awkward controls. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. Because I feel like that that's that that that's kind of two genres, and getting over it is the combination of the two genres: the awkward controls and the and the punishing. And you know, the punishing platforming. Yeah. If you want to talk about like. Uh, 
and you're not gonna like this at, at all, like as far as like descriptions go. But the but but like uh, ultra punishing platforming had a had a had a had, had a uh, reputation in the early days as being called Kaizo games. Yeah. Based off of Super Kaizo, Super Mar Mario Kaizo, or whatever. Okay, good. I got it. Uh, Though I feel like we're talking in circles because again, a lot of these yeah. games are not platformers, so I don't think it makes yeah. sense to call them what an the awkward... platforming genre. I mean, and that's the thing is that unless we come up with a better name for them, I guess body likes are uh, are the closest we we got. To, we're like, tasked with this. Body. Whatever we come up with, everyone is going to use, right? It, it, uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, awkward controls. Uh, There's another jump, isn't it? What are what are synonyms for awkward? I know it's another jump. Yeah. If you don't like jumping, you're not. Yeah. Okay, good. Hello. <laughs> I know, right? So I, I did this wrong multiple times before I finally just had to look it up, and they're like, "Oh, this that's how you do it." Question: Why yes. can't you just grab the clothesline? Um. Because it's razor sharp. Oh, okay, <laughs> I, I get it. Like Frozen, the Disney yeah. movie. Not the Disney movie. I love that. That there's two fucking Frozens and one of them is just is just like two like four three people stuck in a ski lift. Don't let Elsa look. Whatever Don't happens. Let her look. <laughs> Devoured by wolves. Someone just Did joined the stream himself. and said, "What are we touching?" Oh. Well, yeah. All right. Okay. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. We've reached the you swimming know, pool. Okay. The next level. This one's pretty easy. It's just a climbing wall. All right. You want, you want to take a stab at it? Sure. All right. Easy peasy. Oh. Easy peasy, limit squeezy. There's all Zalrog now. I recognize that slide. Fortunately, it doesn't uh, send you all the way back to the beginning. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I what knew that, that would happen. Kaizo? <laughs> Cat Mario. That's consistent. what we're doing now, huh? You know what? At least they do it at the very beginning. It didn't like fucking kill you. So. What in Cat Mario? No, this. What this did. So I did not let go of left. He just it was enough to make him like drop. Yeah, the 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 the, the, all the littlest friction will uh, will fuck with you in this one. What happens when that tiny rag falls off of him? Why do you ask questions you know the answer to? We get banned from Twitch. If we get yeah, because they're being really strict about uh, sexual content now. Unless you're uh, playing Conan Exiles and doing like the meat spin, that's okay. The meat spin. <laughs> play Conan Exiles specifically for Okay. So I had to let go to do that. It was very important. Have you been to any of those shock sites? Uh, I, no. You've never Th been thankfully, to the meat spin? I I have avoided the meat spin. I've avoided the goatsy, the blue waffle, lemon party. Look all of this up on your own time. I encourage lemon you to. Lemon party. Oh man, I I want to. Wang talked about uh, goat seed, but he but he didn't really ever talk about lemon party. I don't think. I, I want to know the story of lemon party. It's so, it's something to do with a bunch of old dudes being sexual. <laughs> That's all I know about it. Which oh, man, I, I I used to think that was disgusting, but after but after watching the movie uh, X, I I still think it's it's off putting. But I also feel bad whenever I feel that way. Old dudes need love, too. Yeah. Yeah, everybody needs love. So this uh, is uh, quite a reach. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be another jump, I'm afraid. Swing, swing, swing. Uh, let me know when it you feels tap. doable. Oh! Jank core. Yeah, okay. J jank. jank is actually a good name for the genre. Of, jank uh, core. I don't know about core, but well, jank is a catch-all term for a game that like that like plays like in a way that is not like polished. Yeah, but it's it's understood. If you call a genre that, you understand that it's intentional. I think the thing is, is that jank is too broad because there are FPS games that are that are jank, and their controls are kind of are are the thing that makes them janky. No, but it has to be an intentional design choice in the case of this genre we're talking about. Yeah, which is why I call it jank core because it's that like intentional. Makes it sound like music, though. I know. I, at the same time, though. Well, 
I think there was a style of movie called Mumblecore. So it's news to me. Yeah, I thought it was music, but no, it turned out it's like. What if we come up with music. something unique like Jankle? Jankle? <laughs> what the? F like joystick and like Jankcon, like uh, like 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 Joycon except with Jank. Jank, jank controls Jankcon. Yeah, that's it. Jank. This is a Jankcon. Oh, okay, Foddy so likes the, the genre Con of no, not not, not Foddy likes. I'm talking about that's half the genre. Jankcon yeah. is like Quop. It's like Surgeon Simulator. Bennett Foddy is one of them, and then there's the genre of games that have this risk of you go to the bottom. It, you, you know. I, I I'm gonna. I'm suggesting another... that Foddy is the combination of those two genres. Yeah. So the second genre, for as far as uh, as like um, like a kind of semi safe, semi dangerous, like where you have the potential of going back to the very beginning if you fuck up. Uh, I would call them like oneer style game, like oneers. That's kind. Of, you know what that is? That's the same philosophy as. Uh, well, no, it's not the same philosophy as roguelikes. No, because roguelikes, that you die and you specifically go back to the very beginning, and it's like kind of the game forces you back to the beginning. And this one, uh, you go back to the beginning, but it's all part of gameplay. It's like seamless. Which and is like, like, like nothing is new. Yeah. It's like, uh, I would, I, I, that's why I say, like, because it's like the style of, like, a oneer in movies, where they're just, it's all done in, like, one continuous take. This game is basically just one big, long, like, stretch of gameplay. Go so, from where you're, yeah. So do you think it would not count as this genre of games if this, let's say it was Bennett Foddy, but with multiple mountains? Uh, if it's broken up, it, it could still be oneer. It's just a different a take on it. Because if it was like if there's multiple mountains that you could climb, but each mountain had like the risk of it, like of you just having to start over from the very beginning, and you couldn't like save. There's places that are safe where you could fall, kind of, and then you'd be fine. All the green ones are the same, by the way. Uh, if if you were, if you could just uh, like go there and it's fine, that'd be one thing. But like if there's like actual checkpoints and then. Yeah, I think I think calling the game style uh, like uh, like a wonder because it's all in one shot. Like if you're playing a level, there's no like checkpoints. Uh, there's no like this. Yeah, it's just it's just. I I, I think my uh, throwing my hat in the ring, I would call the style of uh, of gameplay wonder. I understand your reasoning, but at the same time, a jank con wonder doesn't sound like a very like good genre name. <laughs> Uh, you can get used to it. Like, I mean, if you... Or you could just... You could call it a foddy like and then bite the bullet and just live with it. So this is a jump. I cannot grab the top of the structure. You want me to take over? Yeah, you might have to. You use okay. the... Take the left hand and grab onto it. I'll okay. hold right. I, I, I'm good. holding... Okay, right. I'm good. Uh, this... Yeah, so... This is... This is a very difficult jump. I... It just took me a while to, like... I don't even know if I mastered it. Can you just... Well, no. I was going to say, if you reach all the way right and then just let go and drop down, but then the... the Mo Momentum, yeah. yeah. Yeah, But momentum will... Well, the thing is, you either... Yeah, got it. All right. It's not a big jump. If you do a big jump, you're not going to really grab it in time, so... Shit. Me, me handing the controller to my big brother because I can't do the hard jumps. I know. This, 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 I'm gonna tell you this right now. This wall took me fucking hours. So I, so or not hour, like an hour. But it didn't seem that so bad, I, other than that one jump you just made. No, I, I had a lot of difficulty with it. All right. Uh, There's a snake in my boot. Someone's poisoned the water hole. Sid's gonna die. Wait, what? My name is is Woody, and I don't think I like you. My name is Woody, and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it's just like a thing in those... So many Pixar movies are, what if X could talk? And yeah. that's never really been elaborated upon in, you know, the oh, elaborate Toy Story universe lore. Why, why are the toys being alive a secret? Oh, I mean, if they're... If, if, I don't know. Like there's a toy, there's an unspoken toy code that they have to hide this shit. 
Oh, and it's just is... kind of not talked about. <laughs> oh, I, I let go of the wrong one. Dang it. All right. That, that gif of, uh, of Gene Bay twirling the, the, the wheel. Gene Bay is cool. Fishman Karate. Oh, I, shit. I, I know the English voice actor did not foresee the character being around as often as he was when he chose that voice for him. Because he loses it a lot in later episodes. I bet he does. Yeah. I'm fucking this, uh, this up. Okay, there we go. So you're trying to swing to, like, the top to get up on the mast. Yep. Yeah, this... So I, I, I was an idiot. I tried, like, cr like clambering up the wheel, and then I realized I was being fucking stupid. So... Uh, do you want to try to take left again now? Uh, you want to yeah, tag team? Yeah, sure, we'll Do you think go. we can for this? Uh... I don't see why not. Oh, shit. I don't. I don't think we can because you're on mouse and you don't. Oh, he, he managed it. He almost managed to do it. Ah, almost managed to do it. It's so close. I know. I know. I'm. I'm. Okay. okay. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I know. Should I get higher? I think so. He doesn't want to grab the, the wood part. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay, I guess that's not so good. I'm gonna go for uh, it. Yeah, try going for it. Grab this. Oh, we can grab this wire. Well, yeah, this was well, not razor sharp. You ever try grabbing clotheslines? Probably, they probably suck. I want to be like Mike. Make me Remember like that Mike. movie? Didn't I, I, get a I have never watched it. <laughs> like Mike 2, a different Mike? Like Mike 2, like Arnold. Okay. Uh, this, this. Am I gonna have to let you do this? Uh, I don't think so. You can grab that, I think. Okay. Are you good? I'm good, yeah. I don't, I, I, I don't trust that. Do you want grip. me to try again? Yeah, try. All wait, right. Let go. Yeah, let go. Try again. Wait for it to come back down. Hmm, I think. Oh. Wait, wash the window. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Wax on! Got it. Alright. Keep going. Across the beam. The girder. Remember when the in thing was to make movies out of, like, uh, every movie villain? Oh. Uh, are we going to have to... Yes. So we're uh, going to have to cross rapidly to get it while it's still up. <laughs> You'd think that, but that's actually uh, inefficient. Okay. Here, let's uh, let's go back to the center. Yeah. All right. Okay, uh, move your hand where mine is. Okay. Strong man. Okay, uh, hold on. Move your hand a bit closer to the center. Okay, and then I will. Shake, shimmy, and roll. Actually, I'm doing this wrong. Let go. Okay. I'll just, I'll let um, you handle this. Yes, uh, please do. This is, this is bullshit, even by he. I, I I found I found out what I had to do and I was irate for like you have to for like, like having... you have to get it rocking back and forth. Yes. It's like those stupid barrels in Sonic Three that no one figures out the first time. Yeah, see if you if you do that, you got to can you can you like like pump on swings? Can you like shift yourself up and down to make it continue its momentum? I see I I tried that and it didn't work. So, I'm guessing the answer is no. All right, one more and then I will 
Uh, the villains era. I was talking about like when they were making like Maleficent in, in the Creed show. Oh yeah, I remember. The Creed show? Apollo Creed. Oh, that was his son. But it was about the... Well, it was about the bad guy from Rocky, right? It was uh, the son, his son, anyway? Okay. So you know what Rocky, I'm thinking? You, you want to know no. some... Okay, Rocky lore. Uh, I got it Apollo confused. I'm thinking of the, the, the Cobra Kai. That's the show. Yeah, Cobra Kai. Yeah, that is a villain show. Kind of. It was more morally ambiguous. Well, of course it's going to be if it's a villain-like perspective movie. Fuck! I, I, I hate this. I, I, this, see, the thing is, it's not the risk of falling, even. It's just the risk of, like, it's just, like, it's just so tedious to do this. It looks it. Yeah. I'm gonna try it again. So you've gotten past this point on your own. Yes. How much further than this would do you think you've gotten? Uh, do I think I've gotten? Or would you as... say you've gotten? Damn it! Uh, it doesn't. This isn't. This place isn't cold enough. It's not. It's not cold enough for it to be where I've uh, stopped. So, like, like two checkpoints past this? I, yeah, I want to say about two. Do you think we should come back to this, or should this be a one-off? Uh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try this again. Fuck! <laughs> come on! If we drop here, we're gonna. I think we're going to lose more progress. So I, I want to, at the very least, get through this corridor section. Yeah, no, we'll stop at a checkpoint, but... Yeah. I'm just thinking, like, it's already past the point where, well, A, I can play it at all, but, but we can do, like, the tandem shit. Yeah. Which I'm fine just, like, watching you play the game. That's fine. I, I don't mind playing this game. This is relaxing, except for... Even this is just, like, less, uh... Alright. Hopefully it doesn't reach a point where we spend, like, two hours on one obstacle, though. Uh, potential, I don't think so! Wait. You could have gone for it. Yes! You did it. I did it. I recognize this building. Yeah. This is getting over it, assets. Yeah. Okay, construction site. Okay, let's do tandem again. I, just, I don't remember this section being too difficult. All right, I am left hand again. I am right hand. Yeah, that, that section is fucking intolerable. Oh, okay. Try, don't please do not let go here. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, this is a jump. I. Okay. You got I it? I think it's a jump. Wait. Okay. I think it's a jump. Yeah, it's a jump. Well, you can, you can jostle it a bit. It's not a terrible yeah. jump by the looks of it. No, it's not. This is also going to be a jump, though, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a jump. Jumping Jack. Yeah, those, those jumps aren't like aren't like the worst jumps. That green's going to fall, I assume. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Let's it will, readjust. Or... Yeah, give me a moment. There we go. Oh. Another jump. <laughs> yeah, it's another jump. Maybe it's a jump. I maybe. Oh, I'm. I'm am I? Yeah. Oh no, it's your 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 go. Okay. You try reaching over. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Fuck. That's slightly scary. Loud ass like Rayman oh, sound effects. This 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 kind of sucks. Do you wanna do you wanna take over? Should I still be doing this? Uh, I'll, I'll let go. All right, I got it. Okay.
Yeah, see the problem? So we gotta bring it down while it's still going up. Enough to get the momentum up to where... Yeah. Yeah. This, this section... This section's not too bad, but it's still, like... Damn it, I'm, I totally fucked that up. So in theory, if you- no! Shit! Okay, go, what were you saying? In if theory... you grab both bags bags at once, then you'll have like a moment to breathe. Yeah, in theory. But I, but that might also just fuck with the momentum. Yeah. I might have I might have just gotten lucky and gotten- oh. They're all fu- it's all fucked now. Oh, okay. Okay... I don't know why I like, uh, body likes- or, sorry, Warner Jank Core <laughs> games so much. <laughs> Warner Jank Core game. Jank Con. I don't know why I like these kinds of games so much. I think it's just like because they're weird, and that they're and that they offer a challenge that isn't just like it's a very dynamic kind of difficulty. I like when people invent like new ways to like to like to like play a game. You ever try sexy hiking? I think I played it once, like way back in the day. <laughs> I wouldn't know where I could find a mirror of it though. It's not a very long game. And if I wanted to play Sexy Hiking, I'd play Getting Over It. Because that's more robust. Alright. You gotta, you gotta honor the origins, though. Yeah. I found out that, uh, the... There's actually, like, a pretty substantial line of Trials-like games going back to before even Trials oh, 1 for Flash. Yeah, I played, I played a couple of them. Those were games people, like, kids in, uh, in my era, like, the 2000s would play when they were supposed to be doing something else on, like, uh, their, the school laptops they, they were given. I think the first- This is fucking with my momentum! The first major one was called, like, Action Motocross or something. Yeah. And it, uh, it's on Steam, so I've been thinking about trying it at some point. Oh, is it? Oh, that's cool. You should, you should give it a go. I would double uh... check, but I have to, uh, I have to- You know what? I think I can, I can- open steam without oh i'm sorry no map. i have mouse control <laughs> well that would have been bad alien hand syndrome alien hand syndrome come on i really hope that i'm not gonna be plateauing here because i i got through this really quickly after after the rock wall Come on. Come on. So what do you uh so what did you say you were looking up? I'm trying to well I'm trying to find my own like my own wish list or games list on Steam just so I can find the, the names of these games. I s I have Fallout 4 wish list for some reason. I don't know why. I don't have any intention of playing it. Have you played any of the Fallout series? Yeah, I, I, I that was that was, that was unfortunate. Uh, I played, I played three in New Vegas. I, 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 people are probably gonna be yelling at me to play the original two. I probably will at some point, but uh, I think my issue is that uh, I don't know. I haven't actually heard anyone talk about the originals except for like uh, Joel. Like he's the only purist I know. Everyone else kind of jumped on board in uh, in Fallout 3 when it went, like, Bethesda, 3D. Yeah, yeah, 3D Bethesda, which is great, be which is weird because people were introduced to the universe and developed an appreciation for it, but a lot of people were really pissed off at just the gameplay change. And the story for 3, from what I heard, is not as good as 1 and 2, and having read a, a, a synopsis of uh, 2 and 1 and 2 story, I could see why. 
And considering that New Vegas is like a much better story in like most every way, I, can, I get it. One, from what I have heard, take took itself the most seriously. Then two yeah. got a little bit jokey. Yeah. The holy, uh, literally uh, finding Monty Python holy hand, hand grenade crew. If you're intelligent low enough, they would call you a peasant. I think you could, like, you could, like, uh, I, that was a fucked up jump. So the you first... Could, like, Sorry, go on. I think uh, at a certain point in 2, you could, you could like, uh, become a porn star. It's it's a career choice. Yeah. Well, no, you could, you could like, make extra... Caps or, or, or uh, NCR bucks? I forget which one. So the first, like, uh, the first big game in the Trials, you know, genre, it was uh, Action Supercross. And I think then I played that one. There was Elastomania, one and two. Elastomania? Before, uh, yeah. And these were before Elast Trials 1 and obviously before Happy Wheels came after Trials, and that kind of brought it to the more public consciousness. Yeah, the, the style of... Would you consider that to be a janky control style game? No. No, they're not. They're not. They're simple controls. They're not janky. There we controls. go. Got it. I'm through. And then you have Rev, who chooses to play fucking SpongeBob Action Bodo Cross every year. <laughs> that's, in, that's interesting. You know, with a name like Rev, you'd think that he'd be like a, a, a like a constant racing streamer. But no, he's just called that because he's a literal reverend. Yeah. You, which you found out from his. Uh, his faith streams? I I think you told me, and yeah. I'm like, wait, what? He is a reverend? Okay, uh... Oh! Alright, I know where we are now. That sounds optimistic, I, that tone of your I, voice. I, I'm gonna tell you this right now, I literally just, uh, just got past this part, like, yesterday. That was a good pose, that was like an album cover. Yeah. So. So we could we'll reach the point where you have gotten to today, in theory. If I, yeah, I, I, I know how this is gonna go. It starts off hard, and it's it's gonna get easier. And I think the jumping is easier with this since I'm. Yeah. Okay. Good. So have That's you the reached the checkpoint after this? Yes, I have. And then we will get to the point where I, where I am, where I'm currently stuck at. When I say currently, I'm. I deleted my save data for this, but... <sighs> so yeah, if you were having a lot of trouble jumping with mouse, this would have been nigh impossible for you to get here. Or you would have gotten good quickly. I, I don't know which one. Maybe, maybe I'll try this game again with a controller, see if it's like bet better for me, but... I, f I feel this, this game is easier for me on controller. If I try with mouse... Also, you gotta... With how hard you're swinging, the momentum is like all fucked up, and, and you and you'll provide too much torque, and your pick grip's gonna slip. Basically, have have one like swing. I don't remember if we've talked about this on stream, but uh, what's up? City Skylines Two has not been going swell. I don't know if you've heard anything about it. Uh, development wise or launch wise? Uh, both. It launched, I think, less than a year ago. And, uh, oh wow, that, that's not good if I've never heard of it. Yeah, it was it was horribly buggy and glitchy and had no mod support and everyone complained about it and the devs didn't really like acknowledge any of it, so it just it tanked. City Skylines <sighs> 2 was what what was the game that City Skylines 1 just like killed? It was a, it was a Sim oh, City. Sim City. It was the newest it's Sim, Sim City. City was just like hot garbage compared to it. Yeah, it, it Sim City itself, huh? That's not, e sad. not even RT Game. The guy who like be became a YouTube millionaire just uh, City Skyline streams. He tried he it once, did didn't it. come back. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Which is a shame. Maybe maybe it'll have like a, a No Man's Sky story and actually fix its shit, but yeah. That's kind of hard to expect to happen without the devs actually acknowledging, like, hey, we fucked up. We, we're going to address this. 
Yeah, and, he, and and you know what he did? He constantly did what he he constantly like worked on his goodwill. Why am I not making that jump? Fuck. This is the jump that that drives me crazy. Is the second one of those? Like the first one, I can kind of get sometimes. The second one is is the one that really just fucks me. Because sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. All right, let's try this. One. Another game there that is go. upcoming in a similar vein that. I'm so, I'm so oh. cautiously looking forward to is uh, Life by You. You heard about that? No. What is, what's that game about? It's uh, by the director of the Sim series who has left EA. Is it EA or Activision? Oh. The Sims. EA. Uh, yeah, I he, mean, they're he both left EA companies, but... because like the the shit they do with the Sim series, and he's just making his own better version of the Sims. That's good. Uh, what's the problem there? You said similar situation, so. Oh, I'm no, guessing... just similar in that. Ah, yes. In that City Skylines is like, hey, we can do Sim City better. Yeah. There hasn't been any like bad news about Life by You yet. That's good. Hopefully, I hope he does well. You remember Spore? I do remember Spore. It existed. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I remember the video of, of Vinny making like penis creatures. Yeah. And it, it, you can have him fuck. Oh boy, another another, uh, another steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> this this jump is it is I this jump haunts me. I see. So you got to do with one difficult jump, and then another difficult jump, and then almost immediately later a third difficult jump. You got to do a long ass jump from up there all the way there, clutch the steer and clutch the steering wheel. After that, it's kind of smooth sailing, but like. But like uh leading up here. You know what they said about Shadow of the Erd Tree, the, the expansion for Elden Ring? Uh it, it, what what is this expansion? What's the context? I haven't heard about it. Uh there it's a story, like it's a new area that's supposed to be like about the same size they said that it's about the same size as uh, the starting uh area limb grave. Yeah. And uh they said that you wouldn't be able to just, like, uh, keep your levels and steamroll through it. Yeah? It's like, a, they had some other leveling system there or some shit. So has it released yet? No, it's it's gonna be out in June. So I've got, I've got some months yet. I'm wondering if I'm just... No, because I'm hitting that... I'm hitting the solidness of that roof. Ah! You see, this... This section... Is, is very difficult, and I still haven't figured out what I'm supposed to, the fuck I'm supposed to do with the next section. One nice thing about getting over it versus this is the stuff that, like, you could see being done in the getting over it speedrun was the, like, the wacky momentum tricks. Yeah. This doesn't really have as much of that. No. Can't really cheese it. Unless you can, and we just don't know how. Come on. Wait till we see the uh, the tasks of this. Task spot. I don't even know if I'm like grabbing the right uh, part of it. It doesn't look like you're hitting the ceiling, so it's not an issue of being too high. I think I'm just I just don't have enough momentum. How long would you say you spent here on your your solo play? Uh, the first time I think like like two and a half hours. I took breaks in between just because I'm like, okay, I need to clear my head in some way. I'm going to give it a couple more times and then I'll call it. At least at least here, it's very forgiving. They're not going to like fucking send you back like several like levels. People kind of started leaving once we stopped doing the tandem thing, but there's no fucking way we can do that here. Yeah. Like what, what the fuck's the point? I, I think this game needs like a lot of love it, it it is like a fairly inexpensive game and it's it's going around it's getting attention yeah I think again Markiplier <clears throat> I'm not sending it hard enough I, I don't think We got a, uh, we got the full introduction 
trailer. A trailer, the, the cinematic for uh, the Paper Mario remake. Yeah, that, that, seemed, that seemed nicely done, but... Uh... I don't Honestly, know that I'll buy it yet, but I'm I'm cur I hope other people buy it, and I'm curious to see people like stream it and play it. Yeah, just so just so you you'll know how uh, how good the game is. I was oh, trying that... to. Th Sorry, go on. No, it's fine. No, I, I I was just complaining because I thought I grabbed that rock. I was trying to think. Are there any like, are there any quality of life improvements I would like to see in a Thousand Year Door remake? And it's really hard to come up with things to improve about that game. Yeah, it's it. Uh, I can't think of one. Uh, warp I points can't. everywhere. Because oh, there yeah, were some places be... like the Glitz Pit and the Snow Area that just did not have shortcuts to them. Yeah. Um. Other than adding that, more, adding more pipes would be. You know what? I would have liked to see cameos from all like the previous. Uh, uh, like party members from Paper Mario, not just uh, Bo. Yeah, you know it'd be cool if uh, you you know how in recent Mario remakes they've had like uh, they've had like a, a little separate mini game attached to it, like Bowser Junior's Adventure or whatever. Give us fucking Luigi's yes! Adventure. I got it. <laughs> That's all we had to do. We had to talk about something unrelated to the game. Yeah. Okay. Let, let us let us play in some form Luigi's stupid adventure on the side. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Luigi's stupid adventure. Oh, they, Gleam's still they, here. Hello, Gleam. Hey, Gleam. Power World on Friday. Three of us. Yep. Apparently there are... So there's two different types of multiplayer in Power World. There's a... Uh, everyone has to be online at the same time, which is probably what we're doing. Is just like, uh, you know... PvP or peer to peer, and then there's like actual, actual like hostable servers. Which I don't know if we can do that because that's probably like resource intensive. Yeah, even with my improved internet, I don't think it's that improved. Oh, oh boy, am I gonna have to jump? Looking, looking pretty jumpy. Uh... If only this rope weren't razor wire. It's at an angle. It, w it would not be good for the... Maybe I can cheese it? This motherfucker's hands are so callous. Do you think he cares? I don't think he has any feeling in him. Alright, I'm gonna have to jump. <sighs> he just... He can hold a, a piece of coal, like, uh, like, slow it from, uh... From the menu. Got it! <sighs> I don't think I need to jump for this next one. Please don't fall. Okay. See how I'm just barely clutching those rocks? Yeah. It's just, it's so scary. Okay. <laughs> Better start climbing. Yeah, I, if we, if I, I wish we could have convinced him to name this game. Better start climbing. Rip like the entire map from this and just stick it in worms. <laughs> That'd be the biggest map ever. It'd be fucking huge, yeah. It would be. It would be. You could. I, I wonder. Hold on. Let me Google. Bennett, get, getting over it. Map. Is there like a full, there is a full image. I could downsize this and make it into a worms map. Oh, you should do that. Someone even made a Good transparent in. version. Nice. Yeah. All right, remember how I said it's not cold enough? Yeah. Now it's cold enough. Gonna go for an icy swim. You gonna join the polar bear club? Right. Brisk. So I'm gonna show you where I'm currently stuck on, and I'm gonna see if you have any ideas. All right. Okay. So ice. Ice works kind of similar to uh, the to green the stuff. Uh, green rock in uh, in the level one.
the snow matter? Uh, kind of. I, I don't really feel a difference, but I think I think it slightly increases your uh, your momentum. Okay, that didn't work out. See, this level tricked me because I thought it'd be like pretty, uh, like pretty, like easy, like like slightly easier, like a breather. But uh, yeah. Oh, like the ice rolled in Spelunky. No, nope, not that. I was gonna say chiller, but I didn't want to make a fucking pun. See, this jump, this jump is is pretty difficult. I have no idea how I'm I made this jump before. Oh, somehow I've made it. So you climb up here. Well, this is easy. It's so forgiving. Yeah. Trying they're trying to lure you into a false sense of security. Yeah. So you climb up here, and then you got this jump up here. You got I said you got this jump up here. And then you gotta you gotta kind of a, a this is a, this is an easy-ish jump. Just go up here. So you see that rock up there? Yeah. Yeah. So here's the problem is that this is all ice, right? Yeah. You can't really grab it. Like you think you can, but you can't. So you go down. Now you see those rocks to the to the right that just appeared. Yeah. You gotta jump somehow from up there, slide down the ice, and try to grab that little tiny ass rock. And I, that's where I'm currently stuck at. I'm gonna make a couple attempts, but I if I if I'm just going nowhere quick, I'll, I'll just stop it, and we'll we can pick this up later. I'll try to beat this game. Getting over it on Steam is tagged as psychological horror. Yeah, that makes sense. I, because it's just like it's you versus uh, Foddy, and he's he's not. It, the thing about Foddy is that he he's supportive of you, and that somehow makes it worse. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. No, he's like I'm not angry. You, you, you can do it. I remember one time I was playing like with this. Uh, I was playing like video games with this kid, and he was like getting really upset that I was like using the special moves against him. I think it was like uh, the street, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles tournament fighter, <laughs> which uh, on SNES. Yeah. And I, he got pissed, and I'm like, I'm like, come on, chill out. It's just a game, and he just flipped me off. <laughs> I kind of, I might have deserved it. All right, I'm gonna try this. Okay, so I slide down a little bit, and then I let go, and I uh, move my arms to the right, and then I try... Okay, I'm going to try that then. I like the soundtrack in this, though. Oh, you're right, there uh, is music now. Well, ambience. There's ambience. The fucking, the fucking Kongs are going to be like... Are gonna be just going through here, and they're gonna see this like naked man climbing. They're like, "What the fuck's going on?" Da -da 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 -da. I wonder. You want to ever? You want to do like a randomizer for Donkey Kong? One of the Donkey Kongs sometime soon. I've uh, I've done them. Oh, you done them? Oh. I did. Uh, yeah, uh, one and two randomizer. It's been a while, granted, so I could do it again, but. Yeah, well, that's the point of a randomizer. It's all... They randomize oh! maps, so they're not as... Okay, uh... I actually got one for roguelikes. Yeah? Uh, like, uh, you have randomizer uh, X. Like, if you have... Ran like, Spelunky can be randomizer platformer. Uh, randomizer RPG. Okay, but the the defining parts of roguelikes is there, there's more than just being algorithmically generated. It's also the yeah. fact that you, uh, you only get one chance yeah. or you have to start a run over if you die generally. Yeah. Kaizo randomizer RPG. Okay. Fuck. 
All right, I guess we're gonna have to do it this way. Okay, so you have to not go like full force. You have to go at a specific angle so that you don't hit the wall. Yeah. Oh God. So I'm gonna have to do it from the very bottom. Also, this guy's tough. He's going from seawater to warm water back to like freezing water. He's just like the hardest part about it is just smacking my body across the stones as I fall. What would you suggest for roguelikes then? Well, the defining characteristics are that they're uh, procedurally generated, and yeah. not necessarily difficult, but uh, but you only get one shot at, at like at, during a life, and then you're done. They so. exist in the form of like multiple runs. Oh, okay. We're going about this. You hung on there for a second somehow. Yeah, maybe we're going about this all wrong. Maybe, maybe the reason why people say, like, x light or y light is, like, a mark of respect for being, like, a pioneer of a genre. I mean, it is, but even so. Yeah. That itself is kind of limiting. And then you have the problem with roguelikes of people arguing, well, this isn't enough like rogue to be roguelike. You gotta call it something else. Roguelite. <laughs> Not like, light. Then you're just like, okay. And then people just kind of... It's weird. It's, ah, no, I slipped. It's like, it's like determining genres is kind of like a communal thing for, uh, for like the audience and the consumer, yeah, or like the audience and the and the creator. Like, how did how did rock music get the uh, get its a uh, name as like rock music? I wonder how many people don't know why metal is called metal. Yeah. Because it's harder than rock. Yep. Then you got heavy metal. Well, rock was get... originally called rock and roll because, you know, gets your body moving and swinging. Yeah. And then metal is, like, harder than rock. And then you got uh, then you got heavy metal because it's heavier, because it's got a heavier sound than metal. Well, you got rock. Actually, you know what? It's rock, then hard rock, then metal, then heavy metal, and then heavy mithril, yeah, for uh, for fantasy metal, like Halloween or uh, perhaps Sea of Fire. Halloween do fantasy stuff. I thought that I thought they were fantasy. I've never actually heard any Halloween, but I've listened to a lot of like uh, a lot of collaboration pro projects with uh, the singer Michael Kisk. That guy can oh, yeah? fucking belt it. I love Michael Kisk. Okay. He does mm -hmm. a lot of. Timo Tolki, the uh, founder of Stradivarius, does... He kind of has a habit of composing things that are too high for the singer, but he doesn't care. He just... That's the song. Sing it. I almost had it. I, I, I gripped way too early. And Michael Kiss just fucking nails it anyway. It's like Buckethead playing the song that's supposed to be impossible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Have you listened to any Buckethead? Like, no, in I haven't. A, oh, this stuff's very <laughs> when, weird. When, when I, does he get a stand named after him? Probably uh, when, whenever Iraqi uh, like realizes, wait a minute, there's a guy called Buckethead. You know why they call him Buckethead? Because he wears a bucket on his head. A bucket of chicken, KFC chicken to be exact, and he has a mask. Ah uh, man, you should you should read up on his story about him like trying to record with Guns N' Roses for their uh, Chinese Democracy album. Yeah. It was fucking wild. He at one point like one like of the band members' dogs. Like uh, like shit on like, the, on like the carpet, and they were went to clean it up, clean it up, and Buckhead just went like, no no, leave it there. It inspires me. <laughs> Needless to say, he was off putting for the member for all the members of Guns N' Roses who were like, the hell is this dude? Is he American, Buckethead? Oh, I, uh, so close. I had it. I literally had it. I don't know what happened. I think he's American. Though, though, whenever I hear, whenever I imagine him speaking, I, uh, I can't help but imagine with a British accent. I don't know, it just, I think it just completes, like, the, the... It, he does seem like a punk rock character. He, he is, okay, he is a character. A character and a half. Uh... Buckethead for Guitar Hero. Yep. Uh, yeah, That's a series that, one. like, it was very influential, but, like, kids today don't know about. 
No one, no one kind of yeah. remembers Guitar Hero, sadly. Yeah, I'm sure. Other than those of us that were around for it. I don't think anybody remembers Colossal Cave, either. I don't know what that is. Exactly, and that was influential. That was, like, the first, uh, like, major, uh, like, text RPG. Hmm. Colossal Cave. Yeah, so... You know, somebody's gonna look at... You know what, though? If something dies out and, and like, becomes forgotten... There's always a chance that somebody's going to discover it again, and then they're going to bring it uh, up on the internet, and it's going to get a surge of life, being like, hey, this is actually kind of cool. All right, I'm going to shut up while you attempt this. I, I mean, while you matter. succeed at this. I don't think it's going to matter. This is the good... Uh... Damn it! Uh, all right. We're getting there, though. I'm going to try again. There was a, uh, a recent, like, uh, a batch of games to be, like, voted on for inductation in the uh, Video Game Hall of Fame this year. Oh, yeah? I was surprised how many of them aren't in it. Like, Tony Hawk oh, is one of the one of the nominees. Yeah, that's very influential. Mist? Like, why are that's... these not in there already? Why the, why, why the fuck is it Mist in the Video Game Hall of Fame? Right? Like, what the fuck? Why are I we mean, voting never... on this now in 2024? We haven't had a Video Game Hall of Fame because video games were... Were the uh, were the domain of uh, unwashed nerds and uh, and turbo virgin losers, and it's now only in like the twenty late twenty tens early twenty twenties that we're finally getting. Metroid game. on the NES is a candidate, not already in the video game Hall of Fame. Oh, one of the most influential uh, genre, so inf influential half of our game, so influential half a genre is Nate. A genre is half. It, you know what I mean, okay? Is, let me look up what is in the Video Game Hall of Fame now. Pong. And a Pac-Man. I'm gonna guess those are the only two. Alright, it started in 2015. Right. Inductees. Doom. Pac-Man. Okay. Pong. Okay. Super Mario yep. Brothers. Tetris. Yep. World of Warcraft. Okay, that that's all fine. <laughs> Okay. Any Angry Birds. Belong? What? Angry Birds? That's oh, acceptable. It was very influential. Yeah. FIFA International Soccer. Which version? It just says FIFA International Soccer, 1993. So I guess that's okay. the representation of all, all sports games, sure. All sports games, sure. 1993. So it's probably in, in like, console. It's probably the best of them. Legend of Zelda, Minecraft, yep. Oregon Trail. Yeah. Pokemon, okay, that, Red uh, and Green. Sims, Sonic, Space Invaders, Grand Theft Autos 3, The Legend of Zelda again? Why are there asterisks for these ones? Does it, does, okay, there's probably are like a reason. Are these like returning ones? Maybe different categories or just no, because it's a Hall of Fame. Asterisks are inductees. What it, what oh, they're it? nominated. Okay, so wait. Super Mario These Brothers are... was nominated but not put in? <laughs> okay, so the first ones I mentioned, Doom, Pac-Man, Pong. Pong was not accepted the first time around. <laughs> Year 2, Grand Theft Auto 3, Zelda again, Oregon Trail again, Sonic again. Those were nominated... I, I, I keep I keep waiting till the very last second to try and grab it. It's fucking me. I gotta I gotta learn to just like just just grab it. So so the video game awards. Ones that were were not nominated but actually made it in. Elite. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I, I'm familiar with that game. Wait, that's that's a that's kind of like a uh, not a whole lot of people know about Elite. Nurburgring. That's old, Nurburgring. old, old. That's 1976. Tomb Raider. Now, wait, they, it, Tomb Raider made it in? Tomb Raider made it in before okay. Super Mario Brothers. Okay, I like Tomb Raider. I think that's suspect. Okay, Mist is in as of 2017. Good. As of 2017. Took him long enough. King's Quest. Ms. Pac-Man. Candy Crush. I'm slowly figuring this out. It's not a jump I'm I'm like I'm like missing because of like technical issues. I'm this is a jump I'm trying to figure out because I'm trying to 
do the, tr the trigonometry and like when to like grab and shit. Farmville. The fucking the, 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 the Facebook the, the, game. It's it's a joke. The, 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 I can't take them seriously. They're like the Grammys. What is Toki Meki Memorial? Oh, that's a dating sim. Oh, okay. Well, I guess they had to include something from that genre. What do you think is the most popular dating sim in uh, in the U.S.? In the U.S.? Oh. Hot a full boyfriend? <laughs> I thought you were going to say Doki Doki Literature Club. I, I was thinking about it, but that is that, is that a dating sim? That's a visual kind novel. Of. It's, it, yes. Well, kind of is a dating sim. Um... Until, until like, the second act. Then it just becomes a visual novel. Because, like, the, the features of a dating sim are, like, you, you build your, your rapport with each girl or boy. With a girl or multiple if you want. If you're, if you, if you are, like, if you're that confident. Well, what makes Actually, it a I dating think, sim is that you have multiple options, right? I think the most infamous dating sim is probably School Days. Because your main character can just get fucking murdered by everyone. Yeah. And also, uh, did you did you see the the did you see the uh, the fucking uh, school days uh, family tree? No, I don't know that anything about school days. That that shit is fucking wild. You should look that up because <laughs> is it wilder than than Fire Tripper? Ah, uh, oh! <laughs> Can you slow yourself on the ice as you descend to have a better time grabbing the rock? You saw it. That was it. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring this out. I, I'm so close. I can feel it. Uh, what was your question? Yeah. I forget. Is it wilder, uh, is than, it wilder than, uh, than Fire Tripper? I guess we can't talk about that without spoilers. There's some weird fucking family. It, Are they family? Are they not? You know what? Yes, it is wilder than, than, uh, fair, than Fire Tripper. That was only the first of the, of the like, obscure Takahashi shit. We've got, we still got more to check out. Yeah, apparently she does horror. Yeah, a, a number of them are, like, horror themes, including an entire series that I didn't know existed called uh, Mermaid yeah. Forest. Oh, yeah. For Mermaid Forest. <laughs> Mermaid Forest. Flop, 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 flop. <laughs> Help me, I'm trapped in this forest. We all are. <laughs> Why are you in this forest? You belong to the ocean. We tried to move. Ah! So once you let go, you you plummet. You, yeah. It doesn't look like you can grab with both hands. The thing is, is yeah, I have to grab with only one hand. It'll slow my descent not as much, but I'm sure it'll be better than uh, than like just not being able to move my hands when I'm. It is asking oh, a lot that jump. Yeah, it is. That is, I think that's the hardest jump. Unless I'm doing it wrong, I'll look. Do me a favor, uh, let's not uh, give me a little bit. Uh, if I clear it, we'll look up what they're doing wrong. And if I'm not, if I'm just like not getting it after like a few attempts. There's just, just some dummy see. easy method that we're missing completely. Yeah, well, if I do it in the hard method, then at least it's it's easy enough to get up here. This is, this, this whole section is way easier than the fucking, uh, the fucking like up to the steering wheel and the other one. All right. I, I I waited until I saw the rock before hitting the two triggers. I I am my own worst enemy, Zelrog. Sorry, Gleam. We got distracted. I saw your comment, but uh, speaking of roguelikes, I've been playing a browser game that showed up called PokeRogue.net. So huh. not not Emerald Rogue. PokeRogue.net. Give that a look. Uh, I, I'm not going. I'm not fucking going anywhere. Emerald Rogue was a, was a good time. I gotta play that on my own one of these days. I gotta I gotta get emulator support on my on my deck, so I can just play some Game Boy Advance games without any issue. Log in or create an account to start. So it's browser based. Browser based rogue like. It just it went straight to the game. There was not like a website or anything. Huh. Uh, HTML5. You think? I don't know. Well, fuck. Register. Sure. Ah. I, t I, I fucked that jump. All right. A 
I'm losing my cumulative skill. It's what Michael said. I Please. think I think it's just a really elaborate CSS because Google is offering to save the password that I type in. A really elaborate CSS. Okay. It looks like the it looks like the the Game Boy Advance Pokemon games. But a roguelike. This is a battle-focused Pokemon fan game with roguelite elements. The game is not monetized, and we claim no ownership. Work in progress, but fully playable. Huh. A work in progress, but fully playable. There's daily rankings and a daily run. Oh, I'm 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 using the wrong fucking arm. I'm I am going mad. A daily run, huh? Okay, so like like most other like some other roguelikes. There's a team building aspect of this, so it's not like uh, Emerald Rogue where you have to find your party members. You uh, you build teams, build a starting team based on uh, what you have unlocked so far, and there's a, each Pokemon it takes up a certain number of points, so it's more oh. like. Uh, more like Elder Scrolls or something. Ah, Elder Scrolls but roguelike. I wanna, I wanna see if that's a that's a possible thing. Just Elder Scrolls but roguelike. If I die, I have to, I have to be another prisoner. We could try this. We could do a one-off stream of the, this other Pokemon roguelike. Yeah, sure. The other Pokemon roguelike. What's it, it's just called Pokemon Rogue. PokeRogue.net. Huh. I hope they're actually... not like. There's actually a number of like Pokemon related stuff I was waiting to try out until after we uh after we finished Gen 5. Like uh Infinite Fusion, that game. Oh yeah, I, I, everyone I streamed that six months ago. Yeah, no, nobody's streaming it. That's why we're we're late except when it comes to this game. So maybe I'll maybe I'll do that solo, like uh, this week if I get some time. I'm also right. going to be doing uh Zelda 2 with Wickersham on his stream. That's gonna be interesting. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday. That, using only one arm isn't isn't killing my momentum. All right, look up look up what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, I, I I don't know. Uh, fuck. What if you uh, what no, no? If you figure this out on your own time, then you're gonna be past this point, and we can't like come yes. back to it. Yes. That hence the dilemma. I can't go right. What if we uh. What, what if we call it here and uh, someone, maybe someone in the comments will like mention, like, hey, this, hey, idiots, this is how you do this. Look, if I, if I, if we call it here, I'm going to at some point look it up on, uh. I mean, you could do that. I won't stop you. Well, I, I, I I'm going to be tempted to just play this game on my off time and I'll be past this anyway. I might as well just get this out of the way. So then what do we do? Do we, do you fall back to this point when we need to stream it again? No, I'm just I I'm saying I just want to keep playing. I want to I want to beat this fucking jump. This jump. Jack, is, we have we have to stop the stream at some point. We're not going to finish the game today. You don't know that. You don't know that. How long is a difficult game about climbing? 50 hours. That that sure is a Markiplier thumbnail. Hello, Difficult everybody. game about climbing. Full walkthrough glide. World record speed run in 4.58. Yeah, see? Oh, they, they, they got it sub 5. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. You know, the Not first four. video I ever saw for this game, or that popped up in my recommended, was uh, by the creator, Pawnee Pants. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice when that happens. Oh, yeah. Was it him talking about the making the game? I don't know if it is. It's the, it's the video titled, I Made a Difficult Game About Climbing. That's the one. It's got. I think last time I checked, it's got like 1.2 million views. It's up to uh, 1.4. Nice. I'm, ha I'm happy for him. I'm happy when indie devs manage to get luck, get like a good enough exposure, and they're like, "Hey, this." I guess people were actually hungry for, uh, for like, a difficult games like these. So he does what you're doing. He flings himself with momentum. It looks like he does grab with he grabs the ice with both hands, but he still keeps going down at an angle and lands at the rock. Huh. All right. So I'm just not doing it right then. All right. Good to know. 
So you need to go at enough at an angle that you don't hit the wall like you just did. So I gotta go, so I gotta go lower then. Alright. You have to go at a diagonal angle, but yes, you do still grab the ice to slow your descent. Okay. So you know what that is? That's just, that is just a, a case of good old-fashioned skill issue. That point is at uh, 19 out of 25 minutes in this full walkthrough. Oh, so we're almost done. I'm sure, I'm, I, I think maybe there's like one more checkpoint beyond this. We'll, we can stop at the next checkpoint and then... Then, then we'll spend the next, like, what, 30 minutes finishing it up? I skimmed and I don't see another checkpoint. Oh. So we, just, we would just be marathoning this. I don't have anything to do today. <laughs> I'm just not getting it. I'm just not getting it. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, it was. God! <laughs> I love I love the thud sounds that the that the main character makes when he hits like Ugh! Oh, I watched a movie uh yesterday with uh with my ma. Yeah. Uh it was called The Iron Claw. It was a story of the Von Ericks. The Von uh, Ericks? Like, the Von Yeah, they're a wrestling family out of Texas. And man, it was, the movie was good, but they left out a lot of, like, fucked up shit like the Patriarch did. And that He, like, exploited his, like, wrestling sons for money. And he was the promoter of, like, a, of, like his own company. So, yeah. yeah. Ma liked the story. I, I told her, like, it gets worse. They left out a lot of shit. You want to watch it? She's like, no. And then afterwards, as a pellet cleanser, we watched this 1952 film called The Sniper. Yeah. That, Not that to movie, be confused that movie with was... American Sniper. No. Or another uh, movie called The Sniper. In it, uh, this guy... I'm, I'm, I, I might be grabbing a little too early. Maybe I'll give it, like, a second. Yeah. Uh, th this guy, like, is... I looked at this guy, and he... This main character of this movie is like a serial killer, but he hadn't started serial killing yet. And his whole uh, his mo uh, became uh, he was going to shoot uh, like random like women with a uh, M one A one like carbine with a scope. Okay. And this yeah, and his whole thing was that was that he would uh, he would try to get with uh, women. They would rebuff him, or they would be unavailable. He would get pissed, and he would find a like a rooftop where they were near and he would just like sniper them. And that and that and the cops were befuddled. And he's like, I don't want to do this. Nobody but nobody's giving me any like like mental health help. I'm embellishing of course, but uh yeah, he basically was like trying he burned his own hand went to the doctor and he's like, "Doctor, I'm not feeling well. I'm going crazy." And then and then the fucking car accident happened and they had to rush him out and he's like, "Well, I tried." This summer, incel sniper. That's I, I literally said that to uh to to my ma as we were watching it. I I basically said this guy this guy's an incel, and and and, he, and she was like nodding to me like yeah it seems so. Yep. All right, uh, one Mississippi. <sighs> Damn, I am. I like how you end in the fusion dance pose. <laughs> fusion. Maybe I'll fuse with the with the dude from getting over it will become the ultimate climber. You'll get like uh, metal legs that don't oh, work. <laughs> metal legs. That'll just weigh me down. That'll fuck me up with my momentum. Yeah, but you'll have like three times the upper body strength. <laughs> yeah, I can I can fling myself harder. Uh, so Gleam just posted a thing in the Discord. Don't what? know if you saw this joke yet. Also, don't know if it's a joke. The uh, the Pal World devs posted about a uh, a dating sim on on Twitter. It's it's March thirtieth, right? Uh, it's yeah, it's for presumably for April Fools. Yeah. It is March thirty first, but I guess this could be our April Fool's stream. We're playing a difficult game about climbing. I got through most of it. We did half tandem. Today's Easter. East. 
This is this is our Easter stream. Oh, we should have saved. We should have done Super Bunny Man. Again? We, yeah. No, like we should have saved it for like Easter. Oh well. Yeah, you're. On one hand, you're right. On the other hand, I'm cool. Ah, who cares? Cool. Yeah. There's no real good Easter games, right? Like, oh, we could have played I Am Jesus Christ. You know that game? Oh, what do you mean? We're playing it. This is him. <laughs> <laughs> this is him overcoming temptation, doing his what, mountain did they, training. They did a reverse crucifixion? They yeah. hung him by his feet? That's why they don't work? Yeah, sure. <laughs> this this, this is his purgatory. Time. This is what he had to go through to come back three days later. It took him three days to climb this mountain. Yeah. It's like Majora's Mask. It's all in his head. You did it! Don't fucking fall now! I, I No promises! Imagine... If you fall now, you're not gonna land in the water. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the ice and I'm going to break my back. Oh no! This looks a bit. a jump. It's not. I can't jump upward. It's a, It's just mm -hmm. readjust. There, there's like a little white something that looks grabbable, but it's not. Yeah, but it's not. Wait. I see it. I missed it. The little, the little black nub. Yeah. yeah. That's mean, but that's fair. God, no! <laughs> oh. It looks like you need your left hand as high as possible. Yeah. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. Nope. You're so close. I know. I got it. Okay. Keep climbing. Gotta keep Moving. Pal world more <laughs> than just pals. Will you remain friends or fall in love? Or dismantle and eat them? Pals take off their clothes. An adult version will also be released. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, uh, what if they're not joking? It is tagged April Fool's Day. But at the same time, yeah, if they did it, it would sell. They're so have they have to sell the game. They're still updating the game, and they just added a waifu mon. That didn't work out. Okay. Uh... Well, the good news is the ice breaks your momentum really well, so... Uh... Yeah, they just added something that looks like, like a goth Gardevoir, so they know what they're doing. I thought the waifu mon was the fucking horny lizard. There is also one of those. There is a uh, there is a parody of a sim very similar Pokemon. Yeah, the... No! Okay. The, the reverse harem one. <laughs> the reverse harem. God, imagine imagine wanting to be born as a, sol as a uh, Salazzle, but you're just a mere sandlet. You're, you're... In life, you're either the simp... Or you're the e-girl. Darwin simps. They can't- the males can't evolve, only the females can evolve. Yeah. Dude. What if you see a male sand- like a male salazzle? Some people so be down for that. Oh, yeah. That's a mutation. What? That'd be a, uh... That rock looks kind of like a Yoshi. This the one, one right up the, here. Oh yeah, I see it. The one I'm climbing. Yeah. It looks like a Yoshi, like crossbred with a wasp. <laughs> oh yeah, or a parrot. Yeah, like the parrot from Donkey Kong Country. Squawks. Yeah, yeah, squawks. The parrot. Apparently, the shittier version of squawks, the one that can't like spit nuts or go up, is yeah. called quawks. <laughs> they just dropped the S. I see. Hello, Sandy. I'm ma I'm gonna make this jump. I uh, I was not expecting us to finish the game today, but it f it f feels within reach. This is a difficult game about climbing, not an impossible game about climbing. That'd probably take three streams. If we get to the end of this, though, this is like a shorter game than getting over it. I think. Yeah. The guy made. I think the guy made this in about a year. This it feels like it. All right. So you need uh, to be as far to the left as possible. 
I I want to see if I can. I probably need to make that rock and then and then climb from that rock up to there. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't even need to do a full jump. I can just. Yeah. There we go. That was risky as. F oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. And then are they gonna have us jump like up diagonally that way? I certainly hope not. This feels like a maze. Yeah. But they somehow implemented mazes in a climbing game. Oh god, you guys are playing this. <laughs> we played getting over that. it. We never get it we... over we never got over it though. Yeah, but we're gonna uh... No Fuck ah! And we Ow! lost the big jump. We're in the wall. I fucking oh, my, I my my <laughs> my ribs. All right, I'm gonna go back up there. <laughs> that's in that that's that's a hard jump. They knew exactly where they were putting it too. They they put it in a place where if you miss, you fall back in the water. Yeah. Well, I didn't fall back in the water, so fuck you. Happy Easter, everyone. Easter is about adversity. In the in the face of people who want to uh, want to make your holiday from uh, they want to sanitize your pagan holiday. Actually, no. That uh, Easter is specifically Christian, isn't it? It's specifically about Jesus coming back from the dead after he. Was, as far uh, as I know. That is a thing that ancient Christians do did was like try to try to take over pagan holidays. Yeah, but Christmas and Halloween. Oh, I, I don't even remember how I did this. <sighs> it's so random. Like it, it feels so random how how much that works. I'm sure there's no, like, RNG calculation, but boy, yeah, that does look like you, yeah. you kind of do just have to get lucky. If it works, it works. I think, I think I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 oh, look, two hours. There's Dude, so little oh. of the game left. Do you think we're going to come back to this to do, I, maybe it'll take us another hour. Yeah, I'd like, I'd, it might take us another hour. The, these jumps feel just utter bullshit. It'll take me an hour to get used to it. I'm, yeah. Frankly, I'm surprised I was able to get past the, the underhang uh, level, like, so quickly. Because that, that took me like, days in real life. Yeah. So. Alright. Is the water the bottom? No, the, there are several pools of water that act as checkpoints, but uh, we've, we've been doing this for a while, so we're, uh, yeah. we're gonna stop here. We'll probably come back to this either for another stream or Maybe even just I'd like recording. to see. I'd like to see you like get your controller working and you try to tackle like this game just by yourself without my help. Oh, there's no fucking way. I guess. Oh, oh yeah. Maybe, maybe you could finish it and then I go back to the beginning and see what see what I can do. But uh, yeah, uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you can. You know what? Oh, never mind. We'll talk about it later. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, I have an idea. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, I'll be back at some point during the week to do some solo streams. I'll also be doing Zelda 2 with Wickersham on his channel, so go uh, visit us Friday, there. Friday's Pal World, and then... Friday the we'll weekend, be doing three-player Pal World with Gleam. And then I will be back on on uh, Saturday, Sunday, and we will be doing something then as well. All right, thank you guys for watching. We'll uh, see you later.